to fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Of course he woke up now. While I'm streaming. Mm -hmm. So derp. Much derp. Can someone poke Matt? Hey Mick, what's up? I'll look at something while we wait. Then... Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. Yes. Yes. Big Sam. We've just lost gas in the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Uh, this is exactly what I don't want. Uh... Can you guess what happened? None. And our gas. Cat cam, yeah, that would be something. I had her on cam before. Mm -hmm. Shit cat. Shit cat. Um, okay. Extraction. So this is after I uh, you talk to him. Okay, that's good. Uh, Bandits. Oh, someone's going to be dead soon. <laughs> Oops. You are dead. No way. Been like ten minutes, Matt, dude. So bad. Okay, that is bad. Okay. Just gonna try this stuff. Death warp is nope. 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 Dip, 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 dip. I can't dip. let that happen in Rice Nose. Yeah. Someone's going to be dead soon. <sighs> that sucks. Wait, and that puts me there, and that's pretty much the wrong place. So that's a waste of time. Nice. Okay then. What weapons do they give you? 180, 182, 2 Wow, that's horrible. Yeah, what's the time now? If Matt's not back in... What? Two minutes, then fuck it. Oh look, it's Matt! Hi Matt. Okay, that's a good going, shall we? Uh, beep. It takes a. Um. <laughs> anyway, first of all, uh, before you even start playing the game, um, we're playing on. Uh, <laughs> and careful he's a fucking moron he stacks garbage upon garbage nice that's how you do it dude that's how you do it um, yeah first of all we're running on 1.4 it might be really hard to see 
I don't know why the text is gray for some reason, but uh, in the bottom right it should say 140, which is the latest Steam version of the game. Uh, I've also disabled all the DLC because, like, normally you would have play, I think, continue play campaign and then be the zombie. So I turned all the DLC off because one of them is be the zombie. So that removes that from the menu. Uh, and then there are DLCs that add blueprints, like, to your inventory, like, right at the start of the game, and they're used in the way. So. Just get rid of them. Um, just disable DLC. Because we don't even use DLC stuff anyway for run. Uh, what else? Um, in 1.4, they now allow mods. Like, we had mods before, but they work differently now. Uh, as in, if you want to use mods, like, like the developer menu that I have is what I use to practice things and, and look at things like for, that might save time and run and any mods that you use needs to be put into a separate file like a uh, I think it's called data 3 dot pack in the DW DW folder or something it's in the dying life folder and so you should find it you have data 1 and 2 and then the third one is the one for mods um, so you have to pack things into that one. Uh, but if you want to use the dev menu, like you need to, first of all, there's a program called Dying Light Manager. And I would suggest like you go and download Dying Light Manager because it will allow you to customize the game. Like if you if you have really bad FPS, even in on 1.4, uh, and you're running it like, let's say you're running at 720, like don't even run at 1080 because it's not worth it. Your FPS will die horribly. Like run at 720, and with the Dying Light Manager, you can turn off things. Like you can turn off, uh, like shadows, uh, god rays, like shit you don't really need for a run. So, and when you use the latest Dying Light Manager, which you can find on Game Banana, I believe, um, it will pack those into that pack file because they have a new system for 1.4, so it will put those modded files into the pack file. So, if you want to use the dev menu, you have to first of all launch the Dying Light Manager, uh, enable all the settings or disable everything you want, and never run the Dying Light Manager again. Because every time you run it, it will override the pack file. So, you just run it once, disable everything, start the game, quit the game, uh, and then put like the developer menu into the same pack file and just never touch the manager again. And that's how I got it to work anyway. Other than that, uh, cap your frame rate to 60. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Make sure it just caps to 60. Like you can use the Xtor. Like the Xtor is a pretty good program to use for that. Um, I can't use it because if I run OBS and the Xtor at the same time, my dying light will crash. Uh, Fraps works only after I launch the game. I just, I just can't. I, I'm gonna try and get the X-Toy to work somehow, because it does work, I know. Because Demonstrate, Demonstrate used it anyway. Don't forget. Anyway, uh, before we start, make sure you have... By the way, if you use the Dying Light Manager, never go into video options in the game, because apparently that will like reset shit, so you have to launch the manager again to change it back. Um, you can turn off things like, I'm not going to go in here, but you can turn off things like um, chromatic aberration and all that stuff, they added it in 1.4. So you could go into video, turn it off, and then do the Dying Light Manager. Controls, I know you noticed this yesterday, uh, Matt, it's important to change the controls. Uh, like so you're happy with like how sprint works, crouching, uh, switching between equipment, using equipment, hit twig X, I mean things like that. You just make sure you have uh, all the uh, key bindings you want so you're happy with them. It's really important for this run. So 
So, when you have all that shit, you have your timer, blah blah blah. You start the timer when you start a new game. I'm not gonna start my timer because we're not doing an actual run here, but you, just, you can press, I just double click and then start the timer. And immediately, you have to wait, uh, I think, a second or so before you can skip the introduct, like the first cutscene of the game, and you have to hold space. Uh, I guess it depends on if you change your key bindings. I think it changes. I don't know. I haven't changed it, so uh, it should always be. You can see in the top, it says hold space. You have a few of these throughout the run, so you need to make sure to be. Uh, you need to make sure you actually learn like when you can skip dialogue by spamming space or when you skip a cutscene by holding space. Uh, the thing that I do before I start any run is that uh, when I launch Dying Light, I always load a different save file first before I start a new one because, um, like, it loads faster. Like, if I start Dying Light and then I start a new game, it's gonna take like at least ten to fifteen seconds before I can even like remove this screen. Like, but if you start Dying Light, start a different save file, go back into the menu and then start a new, it will take like just a few seconds and you can skip this. I don't know why, it's just how it works. You pinch him. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? <clears throat> Hello, Fender. Shit in my head. All I have to do here is just, like, you start in here, obviously. All you have to do is turn this corner, and then just spam your use key on this door, and that will just start this awesome part with the guard that has amazing You sleep for three humor. days like a dead man then scare children? Off to a great start, dirty one. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? And no, you can't skip this. Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? <laughs> Ask the boss. Okay. 31. Based That's your number. In so all I have to do here is just go up to the the room. Uh, you can't. Right here, you can't actually take this shortcut here. Uh, if you do, you're actually gonna skip a trigger that is right here. Like this is basically the game in a nutshell. Like if you take this shortcut, it just won't work. <laughs> the rest of the game. And here, what I do here is like you can see the you can see the range from the door. So what I do is I spam my use key here to make sure that the door won't block me on the way in. Uh, it's just minor optimization, really. And here I actually go just go above the table. And usually, when you drop down, you can immediately trigger this. Like use the door, hold space uh, to skip. And like after, I think pretty much any of the uh, skippable cutscenes, you can move like when it fades back out. So you will always spawn in this direction. So while it's still fading back out, I actually move forward and turn left. So I would be norm. I would normally be around here when you actually see. You know when when it's actually faded back out again. So I'm just, lazy. just oh, move shit. forward and turn left, and you should be around here by the door. And now we're just gonna go to this guy by the elevator. And what I do here is that I trigger the guy, that guy. You want to trigger him, but you want to move back. So. Having subtitles works really well because you can see at the bottom when you actually trigger it. Where do you think you're going? The thirteenth floor. So the goal is to get as far away as possible. 13? This was pretty bad. 
that it works. Some dirty work. But we all got to pull our way around here, huh? Yes. Instead of taking that elevator, we're gonna go back into that room we just met Raheem in. Uh, and this is the first out of bounds in the game. What you want to do is you want to get up on this TV. And the easiest method to do this is to look down and drop down and then look up and make him grab uh, whatever he's grabbing here. Like so. And then you want to go up again. Like you have to do this in succession or it won't work. Like so. And when he's in this state, you want to look down. What I do is I look down and just smash spacebar, and that should just put you out of bounds. So it, you should be around here somewhere. Uh, sometimes it will make you just fly around like a derp or something. I guess you can reload a checkpoint to try again. And yeah, that's the first out of bounds in the game. So you pop up here. Just turn left and you will just follow this tiny ledge here and drop down on this next floor. Just keep going straight ahead. Right here you want to drop down and you want to grab the ledge that is the la pretty much the last ledge on that floor down below. So you want to drop down and grab this ledge. Uh, if you grab like if you grab something that's higher, you can use. Uh, I think it's used to duck. T uh, duck. I think it's controlled by default. He will let go, and then you can grab the one that's further down while he's falling instead. So that works. Uh, but if you grab this, you all you have to do is just drop down, and you will land on the thirteenth floor. Well, hopefully, anyway. Apparently, I got too far away. That happens sometimes, I don't know why. The safest way is to actually press forward while you drop. Um, I, I had a checkpoint, didn't I? Oh, okay, never mind, it's fine. Uh, the safest way is to actually hold forward. Because otherwise the game wants to put you outside for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, doing this you will have about like 7 health left. Barely enough health. And this is the 13th floor below us. All you have to do is actually move over to this broken window here. And when you're above it, it's gonna drop you down once. And so the first time you drop down, you will hit the window, and the second time you need to drop down and go inside. If you don't, you're gonna fall down and die horribly. Uh, oh hello! I think my game completely broke. Wow, uh, my game broke. Yes. I'm missing a trigger here. That's why. But this is like probably, from what I heard, people trying this out of bounds, they have the biggest problem they have is that they fall down and they die. And that's like, that's because you are too high up. Like, you need to grab the, like, the lowest ledge, or the lowest one, or you won't make it, pretty much. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? <laughs> Shit. Yes. There's gonna be some dirty work. The reason we even do this out of bounds is, uh, uh, I'll see you Eduardo. I can do another one later on today, don't worry about it. I'm gonna be streaming for a while. I mean, the reason we're doing this is because it actually skips a cutscene. And now it's just finally everywhere. Can I go back inbounds? Uh, it skips a cutscene you have to do with the uh, GRE. Okay, then. Let's see if I can navigate myself. Yeah, okay. Navigate myself back to the TV. Oh! Yes. <laughs> like that. 
Det er det If you don't know the story, basically you're sent here by the GRE. Wait, I don't have to trigger this? Oh, cool, okay, thanks. And you have to do, like, throughout the game, you have to call, like, the GRE at certain points. And the first one is actually when you exit this elevator down to the third T4. Uh, and since we don't want to waste time on that, we just do this out of bounds instead. And if you do it quickly, you can save, uh, I don't know, loads of time. More than enough, anyway. So now it should trigger properly. There we go. So drop through the window, sprint over to this door here. Um, while you're opening, you can actually... While you open the door, you can actually kick through the door and hit the zombie on the other side. So you can actually kill him by kicking through the door, which is why I try to do as much as possible. Uh, so just kick as much as possible. He will always die on one kick. That's like a kick and is a one hit kill on this guy for some reason. Uh, also, what I do here is I drop this weapon. Uh, there's a key binding for it, and like I said, you have to make sure you have good key bindings. So I drop the weapon here, and then I go in here and. Jesus, you, you're all right, man. This is, I think, yeah. This is the first part where you have to, uh, where you can skip the dialogue by spamming like your space key. Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Raheem, this is Crane. After you, you skip the dialogue with this guy. You want to go back 13. out. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked uh, up pretty bad. You want to go back zombie. this way where you came from. And on this, I think it's a washing machine. It's hard to tell. Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Yes. Uh, you go back where you came from. On this washing machine, you have duct tape. You want to grab this duct tape. This is during the dialogue, by the way, that I listened to. You want to open this door. And then you want to go all the way back into the apartment where you actually just talk to Mark. And on the table here you have another piece of duct tape. And the reason we're picking all this up is because we're setting up for a, a duping session later on. So you pick up the duct tape, you open the door, you go back out, and go back in here. Pick up the duct tape and you all do all of that during the dialogue. So you should be back here while he's like saying the last few lines or whatever. Hey Super Twitcher, how are you? So you talk to Mark, you spam your space bar okay. to skip. I'll be right back. Uh, skip the dialogue. Uh, you go left. You don't have a flashlight until you enter this apartment, which we're gonna do now. So for some reason they give you a sh flashlight here. Don't know why. Uh, you enter this apartment, you open this toolbox, and grab a duct tape. You go around the corner, open this fridge, grab the alcohol. And when you exit this apartment, you go straight ahead. And then left. You know, this is where we opened the door earlier. So you go in here, and then you turn right into the bathroom, open this to get the last item you need. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Last item you need to create a med kit, so all you have to do now is just go back to Mark. And this is like how you do this quickly. Um, this is why you have to good have this is why you need good key bindings, okay? And this is why you have to disable DLC because what you do here is you press uh, I for inventory, you press you have these uh, bindings up here, Q and E, so I press E 
Uh, if I had DLC here, I would have, I think, three blueprints here. So they would actually waste my time by being here. If you press I, yeah, okay, I can accept I, E, space, and then escape. It will still craft the item. This counts for any item you actually craft, which is weird. You don't actually need to wait for the bar to complete. Uh, you just press escape immediately. And then you press to talk to Mark. And then space. So it's like a sequence of uh, key, keys well, you have to press. One. So you press I, E, space, escape. Uh, e and then space to do that part quickly. Uh, okay. Yay, so we're done with this. What do we do? Well, what I do is I go out here to trigger. Um, to be able to go back up, you need to uh, wait for Raheem to talk. So, what I do is I trigger it by going here. And then I go back in here because I'm gonna pick up metal parts in the bedroom in this yeah, I just want to help out and box. repay you guys for what you did for me well good come find me and we'll talk about how you can do that uh, you can do all this while you know he's talking so don't worry about it but into that bedroom that toolbox you cannot grab it until you've helped Mike um, and then we go back into this room and there's a toolbox here and we grab this duct tape. So now you should have four duct tape uh, and one metal parts. And we can go back up and talk to Raheem. So not only like like I said, disabling uh, the DLC doesn't I mean it, it not only helps when you do like when you help mark because you can quickly craft a bed kit but it's gonna help later on as well with duping so anyway we're gonna go back rats in a cage uh, by the way doors in this game uh, the best way is to actually sprint while you open doors because he will like bash them open and that will save some time. When you open this double door, you have another cutscene you can skip by holding space. And while it's fading back out, you can turn left. And I think you have to move a bit forward while you turn left. And you should be talking to Kareem if you press the use key. You need something that fits the yeah. job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. So what I did uh, was I skipped the cutscene, I turned left, and then I spoke to Kareem, and I smashed space because you know it's a dialogue, so you can just smash space to skip it, and that should save. Well, that saves some time if you get that. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, and when I exit here, I uh, try and actually do the bashing animation, like try and do it uh, on as many doors as possible. Uh, anyway, we're forced to change our outfits. Let's go. Go into the stash or storage. Press E to get your clothes. There you go. And after you change your outfit is where you start duping for the first time. So what we're doing here is uh, basically in one point in one point four they fix the old method of duping, which. You know, we were like, okay, we might have to do old patch runs, but we can actually, we found two new methods, um, and we use two different ones. Uh, the first session now is the easiest way of duping, uh, because it will dupe the item that's, uh, like, it will use the item that's highest on the list in your inventory. So what do you do is that you put one duct tape in the, into your storage. What you have to do is when you enter the stash. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. When you enter the stash, you have to press space at a specific time. Okay. Yeah. What do I find? And if you do it correctly, like I did now, it will 
pop up the storage, it will pop up the quantity window. And what you do is you go to the item, the one item in your storage, and you press C, which is default for withdraw all items of this type. And what you do is like you just keep doing this. So now I have six duct tape, I withdraw one. Again. I do the same thing again, and I have ten. And you have to keep going. Not so faster. Let's keep doing this. So when you've done this method of duping and you hit 20, 2050 duct tapes, you want to dupe the uh, space is easier for this. Uh, definitely way easier. Uh, when you have 2050 duct tapes, you want to dupe metal parts and medkits. Um, so you do you the same thing about? again. But instead of going into storage, you only use, you just go down into your inventory. Like okay, metal parts. 2050 metal parts and 2050 medkits. Um, so you now have 2050 duct tape medkit and metal parts. What I do is I keep the metal parts in my storage because we're gonna do more things and I don't really need the metal parts right now. So I just withdraw my medkits and I leave the metal parts. On the top floor. Just a couple fights up. So just to make sure you guys get this you like now I have this shit in my inventory but um yeah I used to, I use one hand that's why like I use, I only use one hand for duping so but uh like just to like make sure you get this you have four duct tapes okay you put one of them into your storage uh, when you enter storage, you press space, and it will show that withdrawal screen. And you know you have it when you can still move while you have this window up. And when you have it up, you select the item in your storage, and you press all. You see that this that key binding. So you select that in storage, you press all, and it should dupe. So you now have what is it like six? And then you keep duping until you get to 2050. And when you have 2050, you just dupe the two items in your inventory. And like I said, I keep the metal parts in there because I'm going to use them later on for more duping. But now we're going to go and do the gym. And there's loads of stuff. I mean, there's loads of stuff in a run, trust me. I mean, at the start of the game, there's loads of stuff because you have duping and like it's just loads of crap. Uh, for the first 20, 24, 30 minutes or something. So. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Not on skip a one cutscene. So the goal here is to make it up to this platform on the right as soon as you can. Yeah. Using this vent, you have a bit more height. So right here, I'm in a pretty good. This is a pretty big, good spot to be in before this pops up. You, this will always pop up, even if you have hints turned off, which you should have turned off. It will always pop up. So what you can do here is you can actually use space to get, um, make him leap up and grab this crate here, and then you can just grab this with a better animation most of the time. Going critical? No, I'm washing, that's what I'm doing. Um, so you grab this ledge, and walk on this ledge, and then you want to get on the crane here. This is so slow. But you want to go up here and hit this this part here, so you can run up this onto the crane. Well, without falling down, preferably. I'm going so slow, this is weird. Uh, so from that ledge onto this, to go up on the crane. And just run all the way to Raheem. Oh, 
Oh, two points. Talk to him and skip. Welcome to our. And while it's fading back out, you can Whoa! fall down. Holy shit! Holy shit! Now the dialogue skip here. So you talk to Raheem, you hold your space to skip the cutscene, and while it's fading back out, you can drop down. Uh, the goal is to, well, the goal I have is to fall as close to this mattress as possible. Uh, the crane skip was, it was one of the first skips that was, one of the first ones that was found, but it was actually, it's not actually useful because it's not, like, it's not consistent. I think it has something to do with checkpoints. Like it won't. Like the first time you trigger it, it won't work at all. Uh, it will only work the second time. So it's it's really not worth it. Like it was basically a way to fall off the fall off the building to teleport to Raheem, like like right in front of him. So, but it doesn't really work. So uh, yes. So we just go through this part. Uh, right here you can do a quick uh, You can do this quickly. It might be finicky to do but while sprinting you Can duck and then immediately go back up you see that Like it's like You will get past the um, Past that like immediately without wasting any time like crawling uh, He's gonna go this way and up here. So what what you want to do here, like the what I found was the best way to grab things is mostly by using like the side any side of your character. Because that will give you like a better uh grab animation. Like if you if you do this you see that he will just grab it and it will waste time by doing that one instead. Uh, yes, okay. Try not to slow down once you start running. <coughs> Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. So there's another out of bounds here. Oh well, we call it out of bounds. Not bad for a noob. Instead of going that way, we're gonna go here right next to that metal plating up there and you can grab this ledge here to pull yourself up so that skips that part and then you want to pull yourself up here so that skips that whole part right there um, and then you want to go up onto these two crates and then you want to grab this part here like so. Uh, what you want to do here is mash space and go a bit to the right. So you land on this part here. And all you have to do is here, all you have to do is go over to the crane and climb the crane. Um, the hardest part about this is to get on to the crane without wasting too much time because you want to make it all the way over to the other building and grab like the ledge here because there's this animation I don't know if you play the game or seen the game but there's this animation when he's like like when he's being if uh, you know he's been infected so like there's this animation when where he like turns or like starting to turn and you can interrupt that with like any type of animation like grabbing a ledge uh, using speed or any potion, uh, grappling hook, I mean any animation will actually interrupt it as long as it's playing while the other one triggers. Good job, okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talents, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. So by doing this, I can still move during this whole section. And then all I have to do is go down and talk to Raheem. Another dialogue skip here. 
Then we just go down to the 19th floor, I believe. Or 18th, whatever. No, 19th. And just go to the elevator. So we go down to the ground floor, or well, first floor. All right, they've given me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. Yes, so when you enter uh, or when you exit the elevator, you won't need to talk to the quartermaster. Yeah. And after you skip his dialogue, it will pop up this window and you need to withdraw something. So what we do is we withdraw the weapon because, you know, we threw the other one away. So we just pick up whatever. It's a random weapon, so it doesn't matter really. Uh, it doesn't really matter which grab you do on the ledge. Like, there's a faster one, but it's like way harder to time. Like, the, the other animation is barely two seconds, so you have to time it perfectly. Woman, keep you warm at night. <laughs> yes, so you grab that weapon, and you have to go to Zere. So we're gonna go outside. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Yes. Uh, I'll be right back. If you have any questions, then go ahead and ask them now. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> yes, this is a uh, developer sheet menu. It's used for basically the checkpoints in the game. They're horrendous. Uh, what this allows us to do is to go around during uh, like missions in the game and look at specific, like these are like checkpoints for several things like if you compare this to like I mean start a new game from first assignment it will only put you at one spot here we can pick like a specific spot during a mission that we want to look at okay, uh, okay. anyway so when you exit you want to go left over to Zera So what I do here is I like go left and drop down and when, what you want to do Come here is kid. Hey remote. All right, all right. Okay. Uh... Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Uh... Sound attracts those fuckers. Shut up, Raheem. 
what I do, I go left, I drop down here, and what you want to do is you want to use that piece of the railing to grab this pole to quickly get on top of this uh, building here. Yeah, though. And by doing that, you can like get into this safe zone really quickly. So all you have to do is go down here and then talk. You have to do this twice. You have to first time he knocks on the door. Second time you have to skip the cutscene. Doctor, hello. Like so. Brahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, what you want to do here is that you want to, you can do this while it's fading back out, is point. you want to go and like grab the, uh, that pole right there, the lamp, I think it's a lamp, right? yeah, so you want to go and grab this, it might be really hard to do while it's fading back out, but by doing this, you can quickly get over this part here, and the reason we do this is because we're setting up for Pretty much breaking the game, and um, so that pole right there to get uh, over this quickly and drop down, and you go straight down here, and you will find these two herbs. And you want two of these. Uh, if you only get one, you can like you can reset like if you want, but like you can dupe. If you only get one, you can dupe them later on, so it's not a big problem. After that, I used to follow this bank here, and you will find toxic lesion. And you want four of these because, uh, well, you can't see them now. We're gonna get a blueprint for uh, what are called potions or something, right? Oh, yeah, boosters. We're gonna get uh, this booster skill, which will allow us to make, well, boosters, and we're gonna make speed boosters. Because they increase your movement speed by loads, and he will never run out of uh, stamina, like agility stamina. Um, yes, okay. So pick up four. Uh, there's a random amount. I like uh, my last one. I had exactly four. So invade them, trick Um Yes. I have to pick these up, you want to keep going, because right over here there's a static airdrop. This one is always here. So you want to open this one. And you want to grab the package on the left, this one. And when you when you picked it up, you can you can quit and continue. <laughs> okay, Chris. If you get the two normal herbs and four of the other ones, you can quit and continue here. Well, you can do it anyway. I mean, if you, even if you don't get them, if you want to dupe the missing ones later on. So quit and continue will put you here. You just have to run to spike here. And this is another dialogue. Like you, you have to smash spacebar. But after you match space bar, you want to pick up the firecrackers on the table and go over to this uh, well, this part here. You want to grab this, by the way. Uh, might be a bit tricky to do because we're going to clip through the building. So you skip the dialogue, pick up the firecrackers, grab this, look left, and you clip through the building. It might be really tricky to do first time around, but like learning how to clip is gonna help you loads because we're gonna do more of them later on in the game. Um, this clip is only uh, it's only worth doing if you can do it quickly. Like if you can't do it quick enough, it's not worth it. So the only reason we do it because you normally have to wait for this guard to move away from the door. But if you do it quick enough, you can clip through, go over here to trigger this while the guard is still standing here. So if you do the clip, you have to trigger this by the door. And after you've done that, you can go over to the first car, the first trap, which is like just outside the tower. So 
sometimes my dialogue bugs out. I don't know why. So, uh, the cl like from what from what we've noticed is that clipping is pretty much mostly about uh, the camera. Like what I do is that I uh, when I look towards what I'm clipping, I press forward, and as I'm moving my mouse to go back and forth to help clip through whatever I'm clipping through, I hold left, you know, so I'm moving in the direction I want to clip. But for what we can tell, it's more about like uh, how you move your camera. Uh, like if you move it the wrong way, it will most likely put you back inbound, like where you don't want to be. So it's just, you just have to practice it really. Like we have more of these coming up. So, Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. so um. I'm outside. When you're down this car, you go this way towards this place here. Because we're going to clear the safe zone now during this mission. So the car is here. And you just have to go to this safe zone. Our runner is trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. we got to help him. Alright, I'm on it. You want to get into the safe zone? I got the boost and KJ, not I'm in here. a run. Of Along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Okay. These two infected. Uh, sometimes one of them will die immediately. Sometimes they just don't. What you want to do is you want to keep hitting them in the head, even when you run out of stamina. Like just keep hitting them. There we go. Now we open the door twice. Now you have to kill this guy immediately. Like so. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Okay. And now we have to Done. wait by the switch. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Let's flip the switch. To get the safe zone. So after you flip the switch, we're gonna dupe again. Um, oh, shit. You know, we picked up the relief package in the airdrop, and we're gonna dupe the relief package to reach level 25 to get our grappling hook. Um, so the problem here is that, like, the easiest way here is to use the second method of duping like we had the first one like I explained earlier uh, the second one is different in that you have to basically what you have to do is when you enter storage you have to press right or D depending on what you use for strafing in the game uh, and enter you can also use space if you want it should work as well so right D, enter space, whatever you prefer. And if you do it correctly, it will allow you to dupe. This is like a reverse duping, like compared to the other one, because what you're doing here is that instead of instead of using the item at the top, which the first duping method used, you're using the item in the storage, which is which is like why I even left the metal parts in the first place. Because we're gonna use the 2050 metal parts to dupe uh, the one relief package we have. This one is way harder than the other one. I got it first try, so never mind. <laughs> like, it's really, it's all about timing. Like, you enter storage, then write enter or de enter, write space, whatever you prefer. And you know, you know, it works when you can obviously, you know, move around like this. So, it should be on the part in storage. And you can move down and pick like we want the DC, the disaster package. So you just select it, press all, and now you have 2050 packages. So you withdraw them. I keep the metal parts because I still don't need them. And I just withdraw the packages. Got the on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. So now we're gonna go 
we're gonna do something that seems really counterproductive. This is uh, one of the newest strat changes in the game. Uh, this was found just a few days ago, I think. Yeah, a few days ago. Um, we're gonna go back to the tower uh, before we do the GRE call because since we duped the packages, we can now get the grappling hook. We can get the grappling hook and speed boosts and all that. So we're just gonna go run back. Hard. Uh, puns. Sorry. Uh, yes. Going back to the tower here. And anytime you enter the tower, uh, you know, we want to avoid specific. Like, there are a few, like, animations, you know, when you grab things. Like, if you go here, he will do this animation. Like, it might not seem much, but if you skip doing most of these, you will save time in the end. So, they conveniently placed like this pile of rubble here. Like if you have a speed boost, this is really easy to do. You just have to go onto this while sprinting and grab that ledge. Hey power line. So it's harder without the speed boost, but you can still you can attempt it, like it doesn't really hurt that much. So anyway, uh quartermaster. We're gonna deliver all of our drops, so you talk to him Thanks once, and you go into inventory and you start skilling uh, your survivor ranks. So what we want is obviously we want the first one, we want the boosters, both of these. The first one unlocks the blueprints, the second one extends the duration. Uh, I get one piece of backpack just to increase my inventory a bit, uh, not really needed. It just makes inventory management easier later on. Um, we're gonna get barter because we're gonna buy some stuff later on. Uh, we want it to be cheaper and get more for the things we sell. Uh, crafting expertise is not really needed, but we grab it anyway. It gives you more items, like when you craft stuff. Uh, the important part: the grappling hook and the last skill. That's these are the important ones, pretty much. Well, it's important to be able to buy stuff and have boosters, but the grappling hook is what really breaks the game in the end. It's going pretty well. Um, <laughs> thanks, Power. I appreciate it. So, when you pick your skills, you want to go back to blueprints and you want to create one set of speed boosters. And, like I said, you don't need to wait for it to complete, you just craft it and then you so exit. The so when you've uh, turned them all in, you have your skills, you craft the speed boosters, you quit and continue. This will, for some reason, teleport you back because that's just how it works. Went to a guy who got trapped in one of the safe houses. I thought I could help him, but he already did. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a thread on SDA, we also have the speedrun.com forum, and we also have a group on Skype for people who speedrun the game. So, quitting and continuing right there puts you back into the safe house that we unlocked, and this allows us to access our storage again. So what you want to do here... What you want to do here is do the same duping method as I like the same one I used with the packages. You want to use the same method but dupe your speed boosters. So you have 2050 speed boosters instead. No, I mean it's it's, it's nothing PTR so it's not really worth it. Um uh, yes, so I have my speed boosters. Uh, I still keep my metal parts because cuz we're going to do one more thing later on in the game. And those will be grenades. Uh, almost. Just give me a second. That's fine, Matt. So, now we're going to talk to the DRE. And when you exit... Uh, you don't have to go this way, by the way. 
doesn't matter really. Uh, you can go that way and hook if it might be too far away. Uh, when you exit, you will always have the firecrackers, so you have to like go through the equipment twice to grapple yourself up into this building here to trigger the jury call. Now you can chill for a bit. <laughs> okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority, though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Yes, thank you. So now we have to wait done. for the other dialogue. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map. Uh, before we continue here, um, we have speed boosters now. and. When you have speed boosters, you want to use them. Basically, you want the uptime of the speed boosts should be, you know, as much as possible. Like, uh, even if you're a safe zone, you can still drink a speed boost, so that's not a problem. Uh, also, when you drink, like, this is goes for any boost, but we only use speed boost. But when you drink a speed boost, uh, you can always interrupt the animation because you get the speed boost, like, it pops up on the screen before the animation ends so you can drink the speed boost and press space to interrupt the rest of the animation and that way you can say like half a second or something of like animation every time you drink a, a boost pretty much uh, so what I do here is I, I drink the boost before the car activates or both of these car activates and then I just use the firecrackers to um, distract them you know like that's like normally what you do uh, anyway so and crane thank you back to you spike uh, it shows the boost up here like up here on the left watch you know i'm going to drink this boost just look up here and you'll see what i mean you need to get back to our main task and on the next trap there it is There's another car close by got it infected are all over the street so what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops so where they can't reach you. Oh, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? Yeah, that's fine. Crackers, don't you? So after you, um, after you, uh, you know, fix these two traps, uh, you want to, uh, select the grappling hook and just go over to the, uh, light, you know, the first light switch. All done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by, and I shouldn't have to tell you. So, um... The thing here is, since we have speed boost and grappling hook, we're actually going way too fast for a game. Like right now, I'm in a, in a dialogue, the old dialogue, and we need to wait for the new one so we can actually continue the mission. Um, because we don't have a good weapon to kill them. So, uh, what you want to do is you need to wait by the first light until the next dialogue shows up. Don't get caught out in the open. It's quite a contraption. This dialogue right here. When Crane starts talking like uh, you know, quite a contraption, you know that you've hit the trigger. Got here. And you can just keep going to the next light. Oh, yeah, the gas tank, yeah, that's good. I mean, you don't have to kill them, but you, if you want to, you can kill them. Okay, lights are all set. You just have to do the mission like normal now. Well, normal with the grappling. Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Do people not look at the title? Alright, listen. 
It says any percent guide, aka I'm going through what you have to do for a run. So, after you hit that light, right here, on that train car, you just go between these two buildings and go over to this station here, the power station, and all you have to do is you have to wait by this uh, switch. Like, um, you can't speed this up, you have to wait for Spike to start talking, like his next set of lines before you can use this. Oh, this is not bully. There you go. So now you just go in here, open this one in the middle. Yeah. All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? So what I do here is I go up onto the highway here, and you have to go over to that safe zone. But you know you have speed boosts and grapples, so it shouldn't be too bad. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and you know go on top of cars and stuff like that if you want more agility points. Here's another cutscene. When you open this door, there's a cutscene you have to skip. And then you just have to use the bed here. <clears throat> You're awake. Who is Denvik? I know no Spike. idea. What's going on? Uh, when you wake up, um, as it's fading back out, you can go open the door. Something bad happened. We need to talk. I go, actually, I go okay, left here. Give me a sec. This dialogue. I go left here because that allows me to use the grappling hook, you know, faster. And I I normally grapple this here. Then you can just go from rooftop to rooftop. Now oh, I lost my speed boost because I'm going so slow. <laughs> you know, you can get more agility points as you go here. So once you get back to Spike, uh, it's just another dialogue you have to skip. Okay. After this, you want to go back person. out. I normally go up this building here. And you can grapple up this one to trigger the call to GRE. It's a short one. It's like the shortest one, I think. So that's nice. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Okay, after call you can grab yourself and then we just go inside the building to talk to Brecken. First door you open is uh, a cutscene, so you skip. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Immediately after, immediately after you skip this cutscene, you have a dialogue with Lena, so you skip that spam space. And after all this, we're actually gonna go to the uh, store. Yes, so when you're at the store, you want to sell all of your duct tapes and you want to sell about half of your speed boosters. Doesn't really matter in the end, Let's sell some of them. And after you sell 
these things you want to go and buy the katana always the katana because the katana is ridiculous so you buy the katana, you buy the firearm, in this case I got pistol, uh, you normally, about 75% of the time you get a rifle, uh, police or military, uh, police is single fire and military is uh, full auto, um, yeah we know there's a dupe English for weapons, uh, even after they fixed the other one, uh, but we have no use for it. So I got a pistol here, American is pretty good, uh, I prefer this one over the other one that normally spawns anyway. And I also buy the ammo, so I want pistol ammo, there we go. And we can go and do airdrop. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. Oh yes, one thing. <laughs> one thing I do here is I actually uh, I don't know. I do this. I normally do this like during airdrop. Actually, is that I go into my inventory and I remove my firecrackers and UV flashlight. The UV flashlight is shit should never be used in the speedrun you can't remove it like you can't get rid of it like <laughs> it's ridiculous uh, if you want to you can also remove like the gas pipe you're only gonna use the katana and pistol but you don't really need to remove it if you don't want to so we're just gonna go outside and we're gonna go up on this building and call GRE again So this Green katana here. is Report. It's decent. Tower boss is named Pistol's Brecken, but he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Okay, so after this, after this call you want to go over to that airdrop and I'm pretty sure Matt knows where this airdrop is and won't waste 5 minutes finding it, this thing. Uh, so you just want to go over to the area that the game gives you. Right there, there is. You can, you can grapple from here. Well, should be able to anyway. You see, you can grapple that, so you can like pretty much immediately. Uh, there's a crate. Grab the it looks crate. intact. I'll check out what's inside. Another cutscene you have to skip. Hey, Domanski. So skip the cutscene here. And uh, I'm gonna go over to the safe house, you know, where the one we unlocked earlier. That's basically where you're going. Uh, bad hook, nice. Oh shit, they're swarming like locusts. So, this is the second airdrop, and what you want to do here, you want to use your katana to kill the. The fuck's here, or Rice's Shit. men. Too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. Yeah, you should always get the power level up here. Don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Okay. So you kill these guys, you open this hamper, and you will find some grenades here. You only need one. So grab the grenade. Uh, you might want to remove it from the inventory, or you might probably gonna waste it or kill yourself with it. Oh, wrong way. This way. So 
So this uh, is one of those scripted, well, pretty much all of them are scripted, but it's going to turn into night because it's going to it's going to teach you about nighttime. So. Nice grappling glitch there. Nice. That is like, that is a perfect example of what you want, don't want in terms of animation. So I kill these. Undeads here. And when you use this, there's a cutscene. Skip. And then you just turn 180 while it's fading back out. And here you're gonna get loads of agility points, so that's nice. Hey Fenrir, what's up? amount of points there. And that's it for airdrop. I made it in one piece. Now I know how broken was. Cutscenes, cutscenes, there we go. So after after that cutscene, you want to go downstairs. Because we're gonna do packed. And what we're gonna do here before we even exit the tower is we're gonna go is so desperate he's ready to deal with uh, himself. Promise. We're gonna go and forward uh hey Chris, have fun at work. Oh, work. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. We're gonna go forward time. Crane, can you hear me? Jay? And we're gonna dupe the grenade we picked up. Listen, Crane. We all and when you've duped the grenade and put it back into inventory, Crane. it's automatically going to equip it. Jay, so I don't want that. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because a mere died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I meant to wear right the best. I didn't know him for that yeah, long. I'm going slow, obviously, because it's like a tutorial or whatever. Most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I, uh, that's not what I wanted. Jade. Okay. We'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, alright? Like, we really wish that there... That there was like a solid way to do here. save or Be death sure warps, but... You there are very on few that actually work. Don't shoot! Don't! I wish me luck, kid. So... I'm here to see... You don't have to do this, it's just a minor time save, but when you reach this place, you, what you can do is you can clip through the building, to, so you don't have to wait for his guard. Ice, Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole. Alright, what does he want? We come to make a deal. So you can clip through the building, the make with rice, and go behind the guard. Alright, let him through. You have to wait here, because there's a trigger here. So you can't proceed. It's not a cutscene, you have to skip. And after you skip this, you have to turn right. It's basically, it's... Uh, well, it's not hard. Just turn right, enter the, enter the building to talk to... I met Rice, and Jade's right. Uh, He's a Kareem. What's his name? I don't know, whatever. The characters are so lame in this game anyway. Yeah, Kareem. That's between you and Rice. Skip the dialogue, go I back out. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now, during this, we have to uh, go to two towers. And so you want to go this way. Here's the first tower over here. But first, you have to talk to the GRE. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What you can do, what I do, is that before a call ends, I actually drink my speed boost. So you have to time it like with the dialogue and before Crane's dialogue. I mean, you can still interrupt it while he's talking, so it's not a big problem. What exactly am I doing? Hey, Survivor. This is surviving. So we're gonna go over to the tower. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Ryan. Um, you're gonna antenna. kill this fog. In one hit. So you drop down, well, you kill the fog in one hit, and you have to use the this gate twice. And these guys there. like to grab you, so... On. Good. You don't have to go up here, you can actually go back and grapple this ledge here. Like this one right here. And when you come... When you end up like on this ledge after grappling, you can look all the way up here. And there's a specific spot you can grab here. <laughs> and from here you can grab either side really uh, to get up to the uh, thing you have to open oh shit Kareem and when you open this Someone you want to go this thing for parts there's nothing up here to switch on When you open, shut up, Karim. When you open that one, you want to grab this zip line. You have you have a few, but you want to grab this one because you're going all the way over there. Oh, we turn. Yep. Oh, nice whoop. And good luck with your run. Hey Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is Of course I have no zombies in uh, when it's not a run typical. The answer is probably die so only. typical. So over here is the uh, tower you have to go to. You can go left uh, or right here. I normally go right. And you want to grapple this part here. Cream at the second the antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. And and someone's inside. Right here, when you're standing on this piece of rock or whatever, you can aim exactly here and it will actually it's like the only point where you can hook to and land on a platform because when you're on the tower you're in a safe zone so you can't actually use the grappling hook so we use the grappling hook from outside the safe zone to get up as far as possible onto the tower like that and then you just have to climb the rest Sure, 
if this fucking climb was worth it. And you're already at the top. Um, after you flip this switch, you want to use this zip line uh, down towards like this train station area. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Is, uh, the thing is that this tower is inside a safe zone. Like this is a safe zone. You have like uh, a bed and storage, and you have quests. And I mean, this place, you know, this is electrified. It's it is a safe zone. That's the reason. Like it's inside the safe zone. That's why. Running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. So now we just have to go back. It was you, wasn't it? Raheem? The antenna. Dragon told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Yeah, that was me. And now I'm on my way to see Rise again. And get the antigen? That's the deal. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... Well, ever. See you back at the tower. Be there as soon as I can. <laughs> so you can actually grab or grapple things on the building here. So I try and do it just to save a bit of time. Huh? Who? Is this Carter Crane? You can grapple. I normally grapple like the windows. That normally works. Job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that. It's all about the distance. And when you get back, you have to just go forward. Skip dialogue. All right. Fine. They have to go and talk to Kareem. What do you want me to do? Yeah. Which one? But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in. So you talk to Rice, like pretty much right in front of you, and then you talk to Kareem, and now we we'll go outside and contact the GRE. But this time it's in a different location. So. up on this train here, this train card here. <laughs> Crane here. Crane here. Oh. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Dubstep pulse. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. So now we have to go to a few places to pick up, you know, payments from people not paying rice. So we're gonna go. The first one is really close. I just grapple my way into this place. Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Another dialogue skip. Just to spam space. And what I do here is I do a van launch. Just threaten to break an old man's legs. Just to get out of that place quickly. Now we have to go to the tunnel. Uh, like, you don't have to go this way, you can go whatever route you want. I'm running I just used to do it this way. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. He gives me some agility points as well. Hello, zombie. Oh, hello. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brett. Flawless grappling hook in this game. You can grapple backwards, by the way. It's pretty weird. I'm infected too. Remember, believe I mean, as in, you grapple forward, but you go backwards. It really makes no sense. So you enter this corridor here, and this is where they introduce you to the bomber, or it was called Suicider in Dying Light, or in Dead Island and Riptide. It's the same shit. Yep. What the fuck was that? Hey, Kareem, I just saw something I've never seen before. This um, after this, you just go back to like where he was. You can open this you door bloated, infected, just and go to the fisherman's village. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, 
just follow this highway here. You can get to the fish in this village. No, I didn't. I didn't see anybody. Just fucking zombies. All right, you'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Here's the village, and what we want to do here, you want to kill as many zombies as possible. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected. In there's there's a dialogue that you're waiting for. After he says do some protecting, you can close the gate here. You want to kill as many as possible. Oh, hello. Now all of them are dead, I just go up here. This is the only door you have hey, to hit. Anybody in there? And it's another dialogue skip. This is nice. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. So kill hey, as many as you can. Money. Kill as many zombies as you can and before you can close the gate. And I used to hook myself up to the only door you need to actually check. For this place. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self hatred fades eventually. Just one pick up to go at the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry. So now I'll go to the ferry station. To the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Oh, thank you very much. So there's a settlement there. Head east and you'll find it. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Yeah. Uh, you do this you pick up. pickup. Another hours. dialogue skip Back here. Already. We just paid off you blood suckers. Remember to pick up the back. <laughs> the plates. Okay, the plates. Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Now we're gonna go, like, it tells us to go back to the garrison, but it's actually about halfway, it's gonna tell us to check on a patrol. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go straight to the patrol. Hey, coffee, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but we can't sugarcoat this train. We need answers in right fucking now. Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken, two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! Hey, Clams. So, this is where the second antenna tower, you know, the one in the save zone we were talking about. How close are you? I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick... And you need to go down here. God. Why? One of our to this guy. Ace Wade. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped him limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Wait a sec. There you go. Okay, I got it. Now I can get out of here. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be now you can go all the way back to the garrison. So. Uh, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Correct. Smart, Smart fellow, that one. So, after we turn this crap in here, we're gonna do, like, the only death warp. The only death warp and the only time we can actually skip a GRE call. It's also one of the funniest moments in the game to us. But yeah. Talk to Kareem outside. And then there's a cutscene here. And now you just go back onto the oh, shit. well the one we had last time. Or oh, the first time you did the GRE call here. But don't go up on the card itself. Like I just go on the side here. Uh, you want to equip your grenades. You want to throw it onto here and then step on it. It's gonna trigger the GRE call and it's gonna teleport us and skip it completely. This is Alfie. Fuck you, asshole. See how rude Kranis. 
so rude. So doing that skips the eerie call and puts it closer to the tower. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antidote did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to. He's look. He screwed us. Okay, I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. The important, f the important part here. No, uh, I'll explain how they work. The important part here, when you get back from packed, like when you've done this, it's the other elevator. Like, I don't know why they did this, but normally it's this one, but now it's this one because reasons. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Jade just told me to train such a fast. So, GRE calls suck. Uh, oh yeah, there's a cutscene when you after you enter the elevator, so remember to skip that. It's easy to forget. Another cutscene here, and after you skip this cutscene, you want to go back. You want to, you want to go up to the. Um, Finally, I get to do some actual good. Uh, you want to go all the way up. Skip this cutscene with Rahim, and then you need to go up here. To do the next year you call. So <coughs> the problem with the GRE calls is that this after is you do the testing, what happens is I want you to start when it triggers a GRE <coughs> a call These people need help. like this one, uh, uh, it puts a save zone Teresa. around the player, you and you know we can't move. Proposal. So. Like after testing, like the only reason the uh, you start giving us some antis like let's then, say you we'll about what do a death warp on a call, like not the one we use, like a different one. When you respawn, you will still like it will still like play the call, so it will like just you can barely move. Uh, sometimes you can't move. Sometimes you can just walk. Uh, I'll the the only reason you, that call works is because I uh, what to do we have it. a completely different dialogue that cuts into the GRE call. So basically we're overriding the call with a completely different line from Alfie. Craig, this is Jed. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? So we're gonna go down to the elevator here and just wait for this conversation. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we should get all the what allows me to use the grappling hook multiple times is not the potion. The potion is a speed boost, which allows me to move faster and not run out of stamina. Uh the reason I can use the hook multiple times is because I have the last skill in Survivor. So instead of use, normally you can use it twice, but with the ultimate survival skill, you can use it five times without before you incur a cooldown. Tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the box cars on the train trestle near the school. That was okay. Uh, and listen, whatever. Jade. If we don't find that. Anyway, to onto siblings. Jade knows where we might be able to get more answers in. Supposed to meet her in one of the box cars near the school. <clears throat> I'm gonna update the FAQ later on today and some new stuff. Hello tree, how are you? Mr. Tree. I'm just gonna go meet Jade. Oh, this way, screw this. Some agility points, yeah, why not?
Okay, here's another cutscene when he opened his door. How many bandits are inside? And you want to get up on the roof here and kill the bombers up here. So you have one here, one around the corner, and then one inside here. There you go. And then you stand to this building. No, oh, yeah, or search him first, whatever you prefer. <laughs> here at the school. Okay, so now we're in the school. Jade, I'm inside. Uh, fall this corridor. Remove this barricade. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice. And we're gonna go downstairs. Through this classroom here. And next classroom and open this door. Funny guy, Zoltan. So when you reach this room with the body bags, you actually need to wait for the guy who's talking, you need to wait for his line to actually end, you know, with the basement before you can open this door. And when you enter, this is, I don't know why, if this guy is sitting down when you enter, you can't hurt him while he's standing up, like nothing happens. So you need to kill these guys here. Hopefully with them parrying your every attack. So you kill these guys. You hit the trigger inside this room to to turn off that switch. So you kill these ones. Hit the trigger. It's around here. Turn off the alarm. That guy will open the door. You can just slice him in half. Give me this guy. And we're gonna go upstairs. Hello, checkpoints. You just ignore the zombies here. Just run over here and kill these two that spawns in the corner. You can get them in, you can get two of them in one swing, that's really nice. So, for some reason, the four of them that spawn here aren't really great at pairing. Jade, no luck with any antis in. Looks like we'll but when you kill these four guys, you can open this crate and about that other option. After you open that crate, you want to go over to the double doors here and remove the barricade I while they're still talking. Search, the so you remove this. I'll meet you, down there. you kick this to remove that, so you can open it. You open like from that door. You open this locker here, and the key will always be up here. That, that one. So pick that one up, and then we just go the same way we went last time, but this time with zombies. I normally kill this guy because he's annoying as hell. Okay, really? Okay. Now, when you go down, this is the same path we went last time. When you go down here, there's a trigger here that will destroy that door. You can even see how broken it is. <laughs> Speaking of broken, um, there's a bomber in there. So what you want to do is you want to shoot him. Cause like, I'm pretty sure like most like people have like is walked down here and started opening this door, and the bomber will just walk up to you and explode, and you're dead. So did I withdraw my? Yeah. Okay. That's now. That yeah. When you uh, when you withdraw your grenades that you duped, you want to withdraw your uh, metal parts as well. You know, you duped like 2,050 metal parts. Uh, you want them as well. So when you do packed packed with rice, when you do that one, when you slept, you dupe the grenades. You also want to withdraw the metal parts from the storage. Metal scraps here. Yeah, and more than enough. Anyway, when you go after opening that door, when you go down here, uh, that zombie is alive. You can avoid that zombie. Uh, if you don't, you will be grabbed and you will waste time. So, you want to do, you want to skip that one, and there's a bomber that will spawn from that door over there. So, you want to shoot that 
as soon as possible. And then you want to enter this door. You can only enter after the bomber dies, as far as I know. What is this shit? So kill the bomber and, and like avoid the one on the ground, kill the bomber. I equip my katana and then go in and use the door and then skip the cutscene. Because then you can kill these guys here really quickly. These are the only ones that spawn. After you kill them you can uh, exit the school and you're done with that part of siblings. Shit, Jade and I went looking for Angus and found explosives instead. Um now we need to get the hell out of here. After this um when you exit the school and after you you, you skip this um this part here there's a cutscene immediately afterwards so what I do is I press space but then I press and hold space because it should if you do it if you do it correctly it should skip the cutscene completely like that okay I skipped the cutscene completely normally there's a cutscene here but if you hold space it will skip it so now all you have to do is get back to the tower. Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any answers in. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Stay away from the voodoo. We'll do. Don't worry. Don't worry? There loads of zombies here. Right. Uh, okay, interesting. Was a bad grappling hook. Ah oh, well. Ah oh, well. It's not a speed run, so whatever. It's a slow run. That was also bad. Let's go back. And now when we go, let's see. This is where we talk to Raheem, I believe. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. So when you enter, or when you exit the elevator, you have to go and talk to Rahim, and he's all the way upstairs. So we have to go up again. This is a dialogue. So you have to mash, Whoa. mash and test. Thanks, fight. kid. I'll see you soon. It's okay. So after you talk to Rahim, you go down. When you reach the 19th floor. Uh, you want to enter this door here. So you basically you go down, and then you just do that, and Sarah is all the way down, okay, like in the last room. Chap has been keeping track of and we talk to him. You have to go back to the elevators because we're gonna go down and talk to the quartermaster uh, for this mission. Dialogue. To live by. Thanks. And now we're gonna go and sleep. So we forward time until it's night time. Because we need it for bolters. So after you forward to night time, what you want to do is you want to go to this one. This is the closest feeding grounds. Um and uh like you can do this in different ways. Uh, what I do is I use grapple and just kill him in like one hit with a katana. Uh, if you have like a rifle or whatever, you can just stay. I mean, you can just shoot him. I mean, it's 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 preference really. What you want to do as long as you kill him as soon as possible. Nice spawn right there. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI. Beautiful fame. Nice square. So the bolt is right down there. Strange thing. There he is. This Might be hard to see. So after I get the bolter tissue, 
I quit and continue. By quitting and continuing, it will put me back in the tower, which will basically puts me closer to the uh, to Zara's place. You don't have to do this. Uh, that's what I do anyway. Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Great, you there? Yeah, what's up, Spike? Another cutscene. Okay. After you've done this part, after you turn in the bolter tissue and skipping the cutscene, you want to immediately go over to. Uh, let me check here. You want to go over here. Because we're gonna go all the way over here. Like, um, the trigger is up on the uh, highway. Because um, this is where you help Rahim. Um, and you have to find uh, one. You only have to find one guy here the corpse and then you can progress into this building here to uh, do the next part of the mission wait you what fucking hell Raheem that was my job oh right because you're more qualified to handle explosives than I am you're just a goddamn tourist listen we messed up <laughs> messed up bad all right, what happened? Where are you? We're on the overpass, and it's all going to shit. Listen, head to the train yard. Find a place to hide. I'm on my way. Omar, behind you. Behind you! Can you grab Raheem. that? Thank you very Raheem. much. Raheem! God damn it. Ugh. This is really not what I Reckon. want. Reckon, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. What is it? So when you reach this place, you only have to oh, check shit. this corpse here. This is not good. This is the only one you need to look at. Raheem, where the hell are you? And you can go to the next Reckon part. It's me. I found Omar's body on the overpass, but no trace of Raheem. Shit. Any idea where he'd go? I told him to hide in the train yard. You find him, you hear me? That little bastard better be alive. So you go to this building here, like I said, and the door is right here. Okay, now we need to kill a few undeads here. Or zombies. Let's see, do I have okay, yes. So I kill these with the katana, and then there's one I normally kill with like a rifle or something. This one here. That's your rifle. Okay, cool. First time you use this, you're gonna have a spitter, so I always keep my rifle or firearm out because you can kill them quickly. Skip the cutscene, and after this, you want to go between these Raheem, can you hear me? two carts and go down the sewer. And you to want to grapple here, so you can save a bit of time. Right. Yep. Grapple, and then you just go up. Okay, I'm back on the surface. All you have to do here is remember the route for this to do this quickly. Just have to go this way. Go up here. Go up here. And this is the first pillar. Okay, first one. Then left up the stairs. And right. And right here is the next one. And now there's a fog here. They can grapple. You can grapple to get past him. And now you just have to drop down here and get back. Uh, get back to where you're coming from, pretty much. Thank you very much. No, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. And I grapple here as well, just to save a bit more time. So. Raheem! It worked, man! Hey, your plan worked, kid! Raheem? Hey, do you copy? Oh, shit. Uh, you don't need to heal up here because the game is going to heal you up after this cutscene here. Because <clears throat> I don't know why. <laughs> I 
like say like you or something. Do you copy? What's going on? Bracken. Um Raheem. like Raheem's. Uh, there are a few different methods for swimming in the game. Uh, the fastest method is actually swimming backwards. Don't know why. Um, but the method that I use and pretty much I think uh, other runners use as well is that um, if you go and touch like the floor while swimming and hold your duck key you will move faster. Uh, same thing if you go and hit the ceiling while swimming and hold your like space bar because like doing that will actually speed Dead. things up while swimming Fuck. get back here and don't say a word to jade not yet Reem's dead he lied to me about that bite because he wanted me to blow up that fucking building okay so all we have to do now is get back to the tower. Uh, there's no real good warp here right now, so you just have to go back. It's grappling hook and stuff. So you don't have to you go to the elevator or anything. All you have to do is actually go to his room, which is right here. There's a cutscene here. You can skip. After that, it's the pit. Uh, Severus place is being attacked by Rises Fugs. So what you want to do is just go to him as ASAP, and I normally go this way. Just avoid the explosions, and you're fine. Just kill all these. There's only one guy with a firearm. So you can kill them quickly. There you go. And when you kill all of them, you go to the back of the trailer and wait for this guy. You can talk to him. There you go. There's no one inside. After you talk to him, you want to go to Rice's garrison. You know, it's all the way over here. Come on. Over here. So even though it doesn't trigger like the next part of the mission or something, you can still go go towards that place. Shit, Brecken. Zara's been kidnapped. His trailer's on fire. God damn it. I play yes calls. See what happened to him, you fuck with Rice? You should never have hit that school. Some of our people spotted a big knot of bandits heading back to Rice's garrison. That's gotta be where they took Zara. You go there and you can find him in the room. So when you arrive here, thank you very much. Um, when you trigger this part here, where it tells you to find another entrance, Garrison all you have to do down. is Doors you have to grapple off. your way up I here. I can get in. Okay, I found an entrance. That's all you have to do. And then you just to find the entrance that is inside in. this part. Just keep your eyes over here. To get inside his garrison. His men kidnapped Sarah, raided his truck. <clears throat> yeah. Crane here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. Fuck, what the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been. So you can clip through that, it's just a matter of where you aim. Uh, the only reason we do it is because like, it skips opening the door. So there are still hundreds of people reason. in here. Maybe thousands. Irrelevant. Doing okay, my weapon. Surely you can understand that. 
Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Sarah, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but... You have 48 hours. So... The reason we do this is because you can hit the trigger here outside the door, so you don't, you don't have to hit the door at all. It's nice. Open. You have to click that Shit, and then open this. Okay. Maybe I can pry it open. Yes. And then we go down. Open and this we're one. You can you just ignore these guys, just run friend. through the building. You don't have to kill them. Go into this room to trigger the next part. Inside. The building looks empty though. And now there's, an there's a trigger there. here where you you have to hit this trigger by the door. Uh this next part you can do in any like you can do it any way you want. You can use a rifle or a katana or you know the I'll just use grenades. So I killed these two guys. <laughs> Then we hopefully kill these guys with grenades. They like to, they can take some serious damage from grenades for some reason. Ragdolls for the win. And there's one more guy behind this door. There you go. And then you just open this door and there's a cutscene. There you skip. <clears throat> I found Zara, but before I could get him out of there, Rice ambushed him. Now this is you can't skip this part here, so stand him up. Oh shit. Doc. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies. You are the biggest liar of them all. What the hell are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes. yes. Lose yes. control. That is what you Americans are so good at. After. I don't need to pick up the guns, Sam. I don't need to buy anything else. Not bad. Hey, Utrulin. This is 1.4. It's the latest Steam version. Clear out the corpses. Leave, Crane. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the arena. The arena is pretty much what makes or break a run. Because you need to do this really quickly. So the first thing I do is that I go into my inventory. Uh, skip this. Um, I'm gonna go to power. I'm gonna upgrade my just just upgrade my shit here. Uh, I will also upgrade my agility because I actually leveled up. Uh, I get vaults because it's really nice to have vaults uh, to help you maintain your movement speed or like even. It boosts you a fair bit if you use it. So. Um, after this, this is really specific. Um, so what I do, uh, the fastest way to do this, there are two explosive canisters. There's one on this container here and one on this one. And then there's uh, the second one, it's got like uh, throwing knives, I believe. Oh, that one. Um, so what we do is we grab firecrackers, uh, throwing knives. You need about, uh, you don't need that many, like four to six is fine. You can grab a few more if you're not sure if you're actually going to hit the demolisher, but you know, it's up to you. Um, so you grab 
And you grab weapons. You grab the uh, just grab a pipe. Uh, for now, you can. There's one rebar you can grab here as well. You might as well get that one. I think it's a good one. Uh, might be. It's not a concrete. I think. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, anyway. Um, and then you grab the explosive canister. You f you throw it for a firecracker, and then you hit the explosive canister, and that will you know, the firecracker will pull all the zombies towards the explosive canister, and you know, you'll just they they will like, explode, die in uh, one explosion, and you do that for two of these containers. The third one is where you use the rebar. Like the rebar drains all your combat stamina in one swing, but you can still swing it really well without stamina. So you just swing and try and hit as many zombies as possible with one swing. Uh, this is not new stuff. What's new is actually on the uh, demolisher. But this is part one of the of the arena. <laughs> So I'm gonna go up here, here's the explosive canister, firecrackers. I'm gonna pick these two knives, the rebar. Another firecracker. And I'm gonna use the gas pipe for this. Okay, stop ignoring this. Okay. Throw another one. There we go. Might as well pick up a few more here. Oh, that one just left. Come on, come back. Thank you. So, some of them might survive, but you can just kill them with the rebar, so it's fine. So I now have... Okay, I have two. Okay, that's fine. So it's gonna kill the last few zombies here to trigger the dialogue. Okay, so I killed all of them now. Now what I'm gonna do, I pick, I'm gonna pick up a few more throwing knives. I'm gonna pick up a new rebar. And then I'm gonna uh, just do a setup for the demolisher. And this is a new strat with the demolisher. Word of your feet here will spread. Such a shame you'll be a corpse by then. Is this your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane? Too little, too late, I fear. Okay. Impressive. For a walking dead man. So, I can actually talk here, because you don't trigger next part until you pick up the machete. The demolisher is a special infected that is inside that container. Um, it's a boss. Uh, it's basically the second part of the arena. Uh, it's a boss fight. Now, uh, about I think yesterday, right? Yeah, I think yesterday we found a new consistent strat to kill him quickly. So what I do is I have a heavy rebar. Well, that was 214. That's a really good rebar RNG. Um, and what we're going to do is, or the plan, is to go behind uh, these two, the cover here, and he will be on the other side. He won't be able to get to, uh, he won't like be walking into the obstacle, he can't go anywhere. And what we want to do is bait, bait his melee attack, and you want to use the rebar to remove the armor on his, uh, on his chest. Or stomach whatever and when you remove the armor you want to throw the rebar throw the weapon and hit his stomach and that should remove about 75 to 80 percent of his health in one hit and you can finish him off with a normal swing but what I do is I use I use the, uh, the throwing knives because he can still hit you like his the range he has with his melee attacks is pretty big. Like it's pr he can reach pretty far with his melee attacks. So 
you want to be somewhat careful to not, you know, you don't want to get knocked down. And I have like 70 health, so it's not really optimal. But so you trigger this cutscene here to start the boss fight. So this is a demolisher. Okay, so that's the demolisher. And you can see the armor. No, you can see the armor right there. That's what you want to remove. So we're gonna use the rebar. Yeah, yes, key, calm down. No, 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 calm down. So you want to remove that. So we're gonna bait a swing. And we're gonna try and remove that armor in one hit. Like that. Okay, so now that we remove that, that's exactly what we want. Now, we need to reduce his health to like nothing by hitting him with the rebar. Like so. And then finish him off with the throwing daggers or knives. Okay, I didn't use all of Okay, so now that he's dead, you need to deal with all of these runners, like these really, really fast zombies. So we got a skill earlier that allows me to like vault over them, which is really useful for this. Yes. And what you can try and do is you can try and like double hit them. Missing one somewhere over here, apparently. Someone is stuck. There we go. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I'll try and do that. I have to download it, the Twitch highlight, but it's fine. I can fix it. So. This will only prolong the inevitable. But try to make the best of it, eh? So, now when you survive the arena, you need to just Let pick no this up. When you pick up the med kit, there's a cutscene that starts immediately that you use, you use skip. And when you skip it, you just start running. Like, even though it's starting to fade back in or out, you want to start green. running. So now we start running. There he is. And we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna trigger this part here, turn back, and we're gonna go up this way instead. Like, you're gonna take damage here no matter what, so don't worry about it. You should go down. Shit. Wow, I have loads of health. Got me. Wow, I have over 100 health, which is really rare. I normally have 50 to 70 here. Fuck. I just want to keep going here. Uh, you can play it safe here and go this way, here, and like go through the tunnels, or you can like just take a bigger shortcut. But you're gonna take damage most likely, except that I was really lucky this time for some reason. <laughs> when I'm not doing runs. So the important part, um, like you can play it safe, or you can like. Like depends on if like I haven't used I, have, I still have my med kit which is weird because that never happens in a run. Um, or you can play. I mean, just do whatever you feel like. It's not like a huge time loss. Uh, but when you're in water, you're slowed down. So what I try and do is just try and use bunny hop, just to try and speed it up somewhat. I used to play loads of TF2. I love to snipe in TF2. It's fun. Make people rage by headshotting them. It's fun. So all we have to do now is just go upstairs and escape from this place. Is 
That's so okay. Now next part is, is the next part is Zelda. <laughs> next part is Zelda. Uh, you'll see why. So we unlock this skill uh, called dodge, and I found that by dodging backwards, you move. Not only move you move faster during this section because in this section you can't sprint, so that's one thing. Uh, and I used to dodge sideways, but then I noticed that dodging backwards makes it go even farther than dodging sideways. So what we do is we turn around and just dodge back backwards throughout this section here. What happens when you beat it? You're done with the game. God, you can do a new no, game no. plus run if Ooh. you completed this story. So, hey, Akira Din. Sorry if I'm butchering your name because I'm bad with names. This part is pretty tricky because the zombie spawns here are pretty random. So you can sidestep here just to make sure you get past them. But you see, you want to aim like. Let me show you this. This is what I aim for. Like exit here, okay? After you get on the bus, you want to go just follow this and then you want to go towards this gap here. So you just follow this and then you go towards this gap. And then you're gonna turn around this corner, follow this, and then go this way. And like here somewhere you should trigger the last part of this. There's a tree here. Hello. God, please. No, no. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna do a whole tutorial. Obviously, I'm not gonna cut it in half. Like, oh, that's enough for today. Follow me tomorrow. Like and subscribe. No, fuck that. Of course, I'm doing. I'm doing a full tutorial. It's right here. Should trigger the last part. No, again. So what I do here, I, I just hold space, just hold space bar because there's a cutscene after this. And then you spam space to skip the dialogue. Kareem, huh? Enter your storage or stash, and just restore your items. Thank him for me. So you had a question. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna answer that now. You said what? Sorry, Akiradin. What got you into running this game? Did you just love the game from the start, or is it a difficult game to run successfully? Um, well, the reason I actually s even bought the game and started playing it is this is a game made by Techland. And you know, Techland uh, made uh, Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. And I actually did runs of Dead Island, the first game, because it's it's somewhat broken, you know, you have a glitch which uh, you can do with your fury skill and all that. And you know, it's a, it's a decent run, it was like 2 hours and 36 minutes uh, was my last run. Um, so I was like, Techland making a Dying Light, I mean it looks good, it has parkour, like, it's like, basically, the parkour part is like, yeah, you know, you know the game is going to be broken because they have this fancy movement stuff and all that. You like, it's gotta be broken. So, you know, I just, first of all, I want to I wanted to play it because it looked fun. It's Techland. I like that island, so I played the game normally, and I'm like, now I can start finding like stuff to actually do. So, like, uh, I think the day, one or two days after. I think it was one day after release, uh, someone found the Out of Bounds, the first like thing in a run, uh, right at the start of the game that we actually use in a run. So, uh, yeah, okay, so you skip the cutscene, you skip the dialogue, you get all your items back, and what I do is I remove the firecrackers and grenades because they, they're just taking, they're just wasting space right now and what you need to do is you have to go all the way over here and there's a really good route for this uh, that's someone new hey welcome Ak 
Kira Din. Sorry. This is a really good route for this that is somewhat new uh, and it involves going this way. Uh, almost what I did earlier in the game when I got to this place here to pick up the payment. You go this way and you grapple your way up onto the highway because you can actually go through this tunnel. I'll show you. You can go through this tunnel and then go here. Uh, like it saves like probably a minute or so. Uh, there's nothing new since the run yesterday, no. I'm not sure. Uh, about that. There's a weird bug with grappling hook and water. I'm not sure why, but it's awkward as hell. Uh, I'm the only one streaming runs right now. Demonstrate did a few runs, but he's focusing on finding new stuff right now. I know ten shots. He's planning. He's planning on actually running the game, so he's probably the only one right now. So we're gonna go this way and just follow the highway. Yeah, she called to thank me after I got the antenna towers working. You should contact her when you get there. Okay, so Good in idea. this tunnel, this is the right tunnel. We can actually right. go through Keep that gap. Here. This gap right here. It's gonna save you so much time. Now all you need to do is just get over to the savior's house over here. Uh, yes, uh, you can do... No, like, when you complete the game, when you complete the story, you can still continue. Uh, like, after you complete the story, skip the credits and all that, when you load the same game, it will put you in the tower. So you can still, you know, you can go back and do stuff you didn't do, pretty much. Um, for... Um, there's also New Game Plus, so if you complete the game, you go back into Continue Campaign or Play Campaign. You select the save game where you completed the story 100%, you press Advanced, there's actually an option to start a New Game Plus, so you can do that if you want. <clears throat> this weapon is a katana, uh, it's a, this is a premium one, it's actually low damage. Uh, if you can get a orange katana to start the game, it will be around 1.4k instead of 1.3k. So, but you know, it's more than enough damage. You know, it's not like you need like a, a better katana. It works really well. What I don't want is a pistol. I mean, the pistol is not. It works, but I, the best thing for me is to get a military rifle. That's a, like a full auto rifle. It's really good. So you're gonna go over here. You're gonna knock on the door. And you're gonna skip the dialogue. I'm, I'm one of us. Yeah, crank. Well, uh, I bought it. You're in for some heartbreak if you think going to sector. I bought it in the tower. The guy is upstairs selling. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Oh. Huh. Okay. Right. So we need to talk to him again, skip the dialogue, and now we can get out of here. And did I actually upgrade? Yeah, it's the next one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So what I want to do here is, like, um, when we get to the next part of the game, which is the old town, or the Sector Zero, as they call it, uh, I always keep an eye out for when I level up my agility, because like I'm level 4 right now at level 5 you get free running adepts and you want this as quickly as possible like when you hit level 5 you immediately get this because it's so much faster to climb and move around in the environment can you grapple that? so now we're gonna go all the way over here all the way over here
There's a pretty ridiculous glitch that we're trying to figure out right now. It's a um, glitch that allows you to grapple, use the grappling hook to grapple yourself. And by doing that, you can actually pass through anything, like collision. You can just fly through everything. It's a really weird glitch that happened by mistake. Uh, there's also glitches like backwards grappling, uh, like super boost with grappling. It's like broken as hell, which is nice for speedrunning. Where's grapple you? Nice. So we're gonna go into this tunnel, into the sewers. There's actually one new thing here. Uh, one new thing that I didn't do in my run yesterday. So now I need to do another run. Thanks. Um, when you open this door, there's a cutscene. What a surprise. When you skip that cutscene, you quit and continue. If you don't do this, like after cutscene, you have to follow. Well, you don't have to. But there's a guard, and you need to wait for that guard to move from the door to his spot over by the other, other guys but by doing quit and continue it will actually immediately teleport him to where he's supposed to be so you can talk to him straight away so quit continue at first Jank was reluctant to even talk to me And he just teleported to where he's supposed to be. Okay. Talk to him, skip the dialogue. So we're gonna do a clip. You know, earlier, you probably didn't see it if you just joined. Well, um, we clipped through a building uh, at Spike's place, and we also clipped through a building at Rice's place. Uh, you can do the same thing uh, where I'm at now. One by one. So instead of waiting for this guy to remove that, instead of waiting for him to remove that grating there, you can grab the pipe and clip through this. And like you don't have to wait for this. And you also don't have to swim. Normally you have to swim to reach this place. So when you do that clip here, I just have to run over here and then grapple up here. And you're good to go. Okay. We're gonna break the game some more, how about that? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so you just grappled, you exit this pipe. There's a big fat arrow here, go that way. We're, we're not really gonna do that. Uh, right here, before the pipe, entrance here or just above it there's a grating here this grating can actually bring you out of bounds so if you grapple in the right spot it will actually pull himself out of bounds and we use this in a run because it's way faster so you do this you grapple yourself over here like so so you go through that grating you grapple yourself over here somewhere it doesn't really matter because you're gonna go this way we tried to keep the route clear but there may be some infected here and there shouldn't be a problem for you though so you go down on the pipe he talks for a bit now what you need to do is you need to hit a trigger here because otherwise you can't continue so the trigger is actually around here you'll see if you watch closely, you'll actually see the zombie spawn right there. That is the trigger you need to hit. And when you do that, you can actually go up here and like just stay out of bounds. And what I do is I get over here. Hello, zombies. Hello. I win. Don't worry. Um, go. Uh, Oh, well, you don't have to go all the way out, but go, get onto this pipe here. Now, this is a very, very specific thing you need to do. If you do this incorrectly, you're gonna go 
inbounds while still being out of bounds and you will most likely have to reset the checkpoint here. So what I'm aiming for here is right here. It might be really hard to see here, I know, but the idea here is to grapple this piece of concrete here and pull yourself past the terrain on the left like so that's how you do it correctly if you don't do it like this you will actually end up here and you will be stuck so when you pull yourself up here all you have to do is actually go down to hit the trigger here and then you can just keep going the normal way grapple up here grapple up here I don't have my speed boost. Just keep grappling here. I'm just gonna get my speed boost here. And what I do here, um, um, you're gonna slide. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna slide down this, and at the end, like while I'm sliding, I'm gonna sprint and spam spacebar because that will actually make me. It will give me some momentum, so I can get to the. Uh, the wheel like faster so I can turn it like a bit faster than normal hey friend. Sorry, but, uh, I had no choice. Like that So we're gonna open this So the savior is just screwed us uh, Before I continue like we have way more out of bounds like we have like this one like uh, this one there's a bigger version of this out of bounds but the problem is that you, you need to hit triggers you know if you don't hit like specific triggers like in the order they're supposed to you can't like progress through the map simple uh, like there's one on broadcast that is like I actually managed to do it it's a huge out of bounds of broadcast I managed to hit the triggers, but it's actually slower. So, I mean, we have things that work, but actually don't save time. Or they just break the game too much. So, this next part is swimming. And like I said, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to hold my key for ducking while swimming. And which will actually give me more speed while swimming. I'm gonna avoid some obstacles here. So they don't slow me down. But like I said, the fastest method of swimming is actually backwards. Okay, now this part can be a bit tricky. Uh, the strip burn last light. Oh yeah, you like that mech. So this next part, I don't really have a proper map for this. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard, but uh, when you exit this room, on the left there's a door. And you need that door needs to open by Rice's Fugs. And what you have to do is like you have to kill like, I think you have to kill two, two of them or something. It might be timed, I'm not sure, but when the door opens make sure you have like full health and what you can do is you can sprint and actually sprint towards the door and like you just hit them with your katana and that way you will you, you might you will most likely take loads of damage but that way you can save time but like you need full health because these guys they're thugs with firearms can i mean they can kill you in no time like sometimes they don't hit shit like they just can't hit you. Sometimes they hit every single damn bolt they fire at you. There you are. It's about out of pistol here. It's gonna be that. So why are you running over here? Yeah, okay, it is a specific guy. Uh, it's my theory. I have a theory for this, and it was just confirmed. So that's the door right there. Like 
I just played it safe by not running into them, but you can just run into them and slice them, doesn't matter. So just sprint over here, grapple your way up here. One, two, turn left, third one here. And the fourth one is when you go up here and grapple into that opening up here. And you're actually done. That's all you have to do with the saviors. Now you enter the old town. That's the whole section for the saviors. Done. Oh, by the way, uh. They ambushed me and I barely got past So much for trusting people. Uh, this is another one of those where when you when you skip this loading screen you will have a cutscene immediately afterwards so you just press space and then hold space immediately afterwards to skip it like so Dr. Camden do you copy? Crane here Camden can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes I hear you So what now When Sector Zero is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet now we're gonna go over to that tower there. That's incomplete. You okay? Trapped inside my lab and safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First, have to find Jade and recover Zara's research. I'm going so slow. It's weird. Oh, hello. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. Okay. Finally, uh, when I get here, I actually hook this dome here. Because you can hook your way all the way up here. Uh, this is this can be pretty finicky, but what I do is I aim towards the bottom platform first, and then you can aim to the higher one. Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah. Now the cutscene. Turn 180. Get out. See here. Use the zip line. Shortcut here. Troy. Copy. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio yeah, channel and contact the outside world. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jade. So all yeah, all you have to do here is just follow. So just go something. to the marker over here. To this university. If I may make when you make it here, you have to talk to this guard. Thanks. Skip the dialogue, obviously. Jade. Jade. Are you here? Drop down to this guy. Who are you? Wait a bit. What do you want? Talk to him. There go. And now you're done. But you did ask me to now you have to go all the way back Jade, to that tower again. This is Queen. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Back to that tower Troy, we just came from. Do you copy? Great. I was just about to nice. contact you. Let's so grapple you. There are some things that the new Dying Light Manager Why? can't what turn I, off, I so I'm, I'm trying to turn them off manually, but I haven't managed to do it yet. I'll see you, power line. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm gonna get onto this pallet here. I'm gonna hook me. You don't have to do this one, you can do the other one if you want. It's just two different ones you can use. Another cutscene. one more thing. Yes. And now we use this zip line here because we're gonna go all the way over here. Because this is public face. We saw a flare nearby. But someone ran into a group of bandits. Oh, someone's going to be dead soon. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Thank you anyway. Um, so, you just make your way to the sewers. Drop down here, and I'm gonna use that swimming method again, but I'm gonna use it with the ceiling to speed it up a bit. Hook myself out of this place. Thank you. Okay. 
<clears throat> so. I gotta find Michael. Whatever you do, just mind. Um, I was planning to run Far Cry 4, but for some weird reason, they decided to add unskippable cutscenes in the whole fucking game. Let's talk about stupid. Anyway, we're in the sewers. Uh, there's another clip here. What I do is I run up to this one and kill it. And you might take some damage here, but you can still do the clip. I mean, they won't interrupt you. You can still clip through this gate here, so you should be fine. And then we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this part is pretty finicky for some reason. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. It's weird. I don't know why. Oh yeah, watch out for that bomber, by the way. <laughs> so right here, we're gonna go turn right, grapple up. And this is the door we want to open. Now, this is one of those times where the game is going to trigger this seizure thing that we've seen before. You can interrupt that by doing other animations. So what you can do here is you can use your grappling hook to interrupt that seizure. Like so. Not again. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought you were a biter. Why you gotta sneak up on a guy like that? Jesus. You almost gave me a heart attack. So we're gonna talk to Michael. Now, if you're ready, you'll pick up the explosives. Go. And we're gonna go upstairs to the elevator on the first floor. Press number ten here. There are two out-of-bounds uh, later on towards the end of the game that are really easy to do. I mean, ridiculously easy to do, you'll see when we get there. What the...? Okay. Damn it. Something must have blocked this shaft. So, the elevator breaks down. This guy falls down and this door opens. Now, what you can do here is, like, you can go... Like, you can go... Like, I'm, I'm hitting my back towards this. And you can actually use... hello. <laughs> okay, I'm going slowly. Uh, you can stand right here and use your grappling hook to actually grapple it. Like, there's another one of those seizure scenes when you exit this elevator. So you can grapple yourself, well, hopefully anyway, to get out of here. Oh, oh okay, oh, I failed. Oh, shit! Damn it. Anyway, it's pretty tricky to do, but you can stand okay? here yeah, yeah, and yeah, for now. grapple up to it. It's just, I can't see it now. And that's the ninth floor. So you can grapple from here up there. It's pretty tricky because you can hit this and you can hit the, uh, the cables as well. Just gonna wait for this to go away. I'm gonna run Hatred. Everyone knows that, right? Okay then. Welcome to the flaws parkour system in this game. Um, Dead Island too, yes. Uh, if I like the game. I mean, there are some weird rumors about it, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not it's not Techland making it actually. It's weird. Anyway, when you finally make it up here, we're failing too much. Uh, you want to go into this apartment, and normally you can't use the grappling hook here, so you just grab this ledge here. Michael, uh, I'm if you're slow, you can just use the grappling hook. It's fine. Now, there are a few different strats for this, but I'm gonna just use mine, you'll see how this works. So I'm gonna go, I go this way, into this apartment, shoot that bomber. And when you exit here, you enter the first apartment. Here, the door is open. You have to kill this guy and this one. And after you kill these two, you can put this down. If you don't, they're gonna interrupt you. Okay, and if they interrupt the you, you have to waste time to put down the bomb again. So now, the next apartment is right next door. Q. 
kill. You only have to kill one here, but now I got grab, so. This is what I get for going slowly, by the way. <laughs> Going slowly is bad. Alright, second apartment's okay. done. So now we're gonna turn left, open this door. I'm gonna go up to floor 12. Now, when you run up here, the door opens, you can kill the zombie that shows up in one hit. When you enter this floor, there's a bomber. Like, this bomber is a huge troll. Like, he can kill you and like ruin everything. <laughs> Trust me. Michael, get out of there! Get to safety. That one. Okay, he left. Okay. So, try and get past the bomber without dying. I use my grappling hook to get up to the next floor, and the first apartment here, you have two bombers. Uh, so what I do is I use my fire and like I have a pistol now, but it doesn't matter like use the firearm You have and kill the bomber in the back and it should blow both of them up immediately So if you kill this guy both of them blow up and you can place this bomb Okay, now this is pretty fun. We're gonna do an out of bounds here After placing that bomb, I'm gonna go back down I'm gonna go out into the staircase here, and you can actually go out of bounds here. You can grab this for some reason, hopefully anyway. Can you stop trolling me, please? Oh, uh, zombie. Uh, can you stop trolling me? Here we go. No? Okay, get up. It's pretty finicky. Uh, you can you can get through that. That was pretty bad, but you can get through that. Go upstairs, and now you're out of bounds. So what I do here is that I I sprint and make it to this corridor here, and then you want it's really hard to see, but you can actually sprint and enter this apartment here, like that, and then place the last bomb. The reason we do this is because okay, all done. if you open that door, you have a cutscene with a interesting enemy. <laughs> so we're skipping cutscene and all that. So and loads of enemies. So it saves a bunch of time. Uh, yes. So when I place the last bomb, I quit and continue. Because, like I said, if I open that door, it will. Yeah, you know, it will ruin everything. The radio. So quit and continue. Uh, put me back at floor 12. Now, one thing. The bomber is back. Alright, the bomber is back. Remember that. And I go up to this floor. I go up to floor 13 because it opens this elevator. The elevator doors here. And I can slide down from here. And now we just wait for the conversation. Michael, get the fuck out of there and head back to Troy right now. Just leave the detonator, Michael. Michael. Shit. Okay, look at this now. Look at this. There are actually two elevators here. We just passed through one of them. <laughs> yeah, if you have AMD Shit. CPU, you're gonna have a bad time. Unless they fix it in lace patch. Anyway. Turn right when you exit the elevator, right again, go downstairs, immediately run to the detonator in this left room, pick it up, okay. I hope you're all right, Michael. and go down into, into the sewers before you blow up. I grapple myself, like from the pipe, I grapple myself through this opening, and then I just run here on these platforms, drop down, where you're supposed to drop down. I mean, you can clip through there, but it's not going to save any time in this case. So, I just go through the platforms, go down here, then you, when you go, when you come out of here, you want to turn left and grapple yourself up here, like so. And now you just have to run through the pipes and get out of here. Uh, 
Now there's a cutscene after this loading screen, just like you know, the one we had earlier. See what this is all about. So I'm gonna skip and then hold the space. Like that. So I skipped the cutscene. Now, this is something, this is actually a side effect. I'm not sure why this, this started happening when, um, I believe, I wonder if it was public face that caused this. I don't know, I don't know. There's, by mistake in one of my older runs, um, there's a, there's a, um, there's, this line that this guy says in the old town that's already played once but it plays again after this mission i don't know why but the thing is if that one plays it actually interrupts the one i am having now with jade and actually speeds the next part up so it actually saves a bit of time so here's the jade conversation i know but i lost my one and only way to reach him and there's the conversation that actually interrupts her conversation and saves time. And I don't know why it happens, it just happens. So it's nice. So we're gonna enter this apartment, open the door, skip a cutscene. And then we're gonna exit through this window. And now we're gonna go and find the museum custodian who's all the way over there nice that was bad you see i'm getting close to level five now on my uh agility so i want to make sure that i upgrade it asap once i actually get it right here you can go i mean there are different ways you can go here it doesn't really matter that much but what I try to do is get over to this building, because there's a zip line here. This one. That will bring you all the way over to the guy you need to talk to. Then you scrap yourself into this zone here. And now you're at the guy you can talk to. Tariq? What's the time now? 2050. What do you want? Okay. We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Um, okay. Skip the dialogue. If when you get to this point and you skip the dialogue, if it's night time, you can actually go so, to bed here. You can forward time here. I, I can do it now because I'm so slow. So. Uh, I don't do this in a run because I'm actually too fast. So, but you can like okay, it's night. You can sleep. Yeah, you don't have to deal with the night time. Because night time is pretty hard to actually... It's just hard to see shit, pretty much. That's the one. Um, yes. So, we're gonna go find a museum. I use this zip line here. This is uh, the same building that we arrived at with the other zip line. And we just have to go to the museum entrance. I should level up in any second now. There it is. That was a bad one. So now I'm level 5 agility and I really want this skill because it's going to speed things up. So the entrance is underwater right there. So we're just going to go over there. Like I said, if this, if you do this during the night, you will won't be able to see anything, barely anyway. Let's just go over here. What I do here is I actually grapple. You can grapple this last boat or even that one if you want, because the entrance is right here. And I'm gonna use the same method I had, like uh, the one I explained before, where you can speed swimming up. <laughs> I 
Sadly, we haven't found any out of bounds for the next part. The next part is. The next part is just like loads of swimming, and it would be awesome to find an out of bounds for that part to still hit the triggers for it. So. Okay. So we're gonna go swimming. So I'm gonna use that method for speeding it up. Yeah, this this might seem really hard to remember, but it's really easy. So. It's easy to remember if you do it a few times. Yeah. Leap out of the water, use grappling hook. Yeah, I thought the fish here would actually, you know, hurt you. Like, actually, you had to avoid them and actually, you no, know, like nothing like that. It's just like, eh, for looks, I guess. Which is pretty nice. Oh well. Jigsaw. Derp cat. Okay. So we're done with the swimming. Now God. My lungs. This is where I'm looking, you know. And you can see on the main map, but you have to turn left because that the opening's right there. It might be hard to see, but what you can do is you can leap out of the water and use a grappling hook. You don't have to climb. And if you do it, well, like I did when, before I fell down, you should actually land on the ledge. Now, uh, there is another bounce here. I'm not going to show it, but I'll, I'll I'll talk about it when I get there. But first of all, there's a trigger here for a seizure. And uh, we don't have a speed boost. So what I do is I start drinking the potion and then trigger it, Damn it. Oh, the pain. which like oh. I said earlier it interrupts the uh, it interrupts the animation I hear you. so I can Man. still move that was the easiest part of this you realize that right you really suck at pep talks Troy <clears throat> not my job but good luck thank you okay so there is there is an out of bounds here uh, that you can do um, I'm not going to show it, but basically what you do, you can try this yourself. You grab this, I believe it's this one, yeah. You grab this, and then you aim up here, and you can go through that grating. Uh, sadly, you actually get stuck. Like, uh, there's nothing you can do, you can't go anywhere, so that sucks. Anyway, yes, this is all about dodging. Uh, I run on the left side here, it's the best part. Obviously, save time. Grab this. Now here you can you can completely skip this swimming section here by doing this and kill both of these guys with one swing. Now what I do here in the run is that I make sure I have health and that my katana actually has got some uh, durability left. So it's about 50% which is fine. I do have health and I'm just gonna wait for my sprint to run out. Uh, there's a cutscene here when you open the gate, where it's price. There you go. And now I'm just gonna run and kill these guys with my katana. These are set spawns. These spawns are always the same. So. The best you got, I'm gonna go up here. Do this all fucking day. I'm gonna kill the other guys. One spawn here. Now I have a pistol, so this will be fun. That's one. Not, I'm hitting something, but they're not dying. I don't know. So I, I kill the first guy who spawns here. Oh wait, one sec. I kill the first guy who spawns here with the katana, and then I kill the other ones with the firearm. Uh, after you kill those four, this guy spawns by the door, so you can just hit him with the katana. Uh, if you want, you can hit these guys with the katana, or you can just like blow them up. Yeah. 
whatever floats your boats. I think I repair my weapon. So here's a seizure. You know, trigger that we can't really do anything about because it triggers when you open this. I can try. It doesn't work. So, since I'm not doing a run, I can show you guys this. This is. There's a clip here. I need to trigger this. Come on. Find her, Come on. She won't wait for you forever. There's a clip here. This clip is like the hardest in the game. It is ridiculous. Uh, basically, you have to grab this, be really close to this, and then clip through the glass and the steel stuff on that side. And this is like, like we do several clips in a run, you've seen them, but this is by far the hardest one. By far. I did it on the second try. Doing this skips fighting, going down and finding those guys on that side. So now I hopefully won't die. Then. Of course I do it, and when it's not a run, of course I do it. So I kill these two just to take less damage. When you get up on that platform, turn right and go over to this side. Get onto the second platform, the third one, and then I go left here. Then you can just sprint up to these guys and kill them. Like so. Uh, right here you can use grenades to kill these guys if you want, but I, I tend to just drop down and kill them and play my katana. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's the best combo I've seen in a while. I'm now glad this is not a run. <laughs> so when you kill all of them, you can enter the door. You have to wait for that seizure stuff though. Jade. And this is another cutscene oh, that you can't skip. Oh, you have to watch this. Fine, Crane. To hear knock me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just give me a minute. Oh, oh that part. Yeah, that part can be really annoying. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. So for these zombies, you can use grenades if you want. Uh, I just use my katana. Uh, you could throw a grenade into one room and then clear out of one. Yeah, just do whatever suits you. I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zeres research... I'm waiting for the modding tools so we can remove these goddamn cutscenes. Useless. Tahir. Okay, so first we have to kill these guys. Let's do this. You took a fence crane, as I But look at you now. for our amusement. You are strong enough to have joined me. So stand up uh, that guy survived. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. There you go. After you kill these zombies, you have to go back to the door that you entered uh, through Ajit, to trigger the here. next cutscene. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? She's fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Lighter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. The jade face. You find yourself <laughs> with a choice, the jade face is amazing. Your precious scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the empathy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No. no, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane, I just want you to promise me you one thing. Do. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. out. What? Uh -huh. Promise me. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so after all that, um, we're gonna do some Zelda stuff again. So we're gonna dodge backwards. The first, um, Quinn. the first door is the one she runs Quinn, through. That's the first one. Oh, this one. Jade, where are you? Jade. So when you enter this room, um, you have to go to, to that door. Me, so when you're going backwards, it's that way, so you just go this way. Open this door. Green. Green, can you hear this me? door, and then I go this way. And open this door, and I'm gonna be like, uh, it's really hard to see shit during this because uh, of the dying light manager. Uh, basically, I turn off motion blur, and for this section. It just bugs out completely, but I'll try and show you as much as I can, hopefully. You wanted to try and save me. So, would have that I always I always use my speed boost during this, because it speeds it up quick, well, loads. And there's loads of dodging during this, so we're just gonna but go this path down me. here. It's too late for me. I'm gonna go over here, get onto these crates. We're gonna go up here. For a while I blamed you for Amir's death. And onto this crate. Up here. Around this corner. Go down to this platform here and then here. But I realized it was you can you can dodge like You don't have to dodge backwards, you can dodge sideways like this. Everybody's life is finite, Crank. You can't deny it. It's pointless. You can go here. Down this way. We get here. Here you can dodge backwards. Not this again. And there's nothing we can do to change that. I'm gonna go left down this way. And you can get onto this staircase the here while it's moving. We can do is make what happens in between count. Like it's normally not hard to see this. Like it depends on if you use the dying light manager with motion blur. Counted. And now he's gone. Rahim's life counted. And now he's gone. Just have to climb this. If sacrificing my life means saving everyone. Oh, oh, please not now. That's what I want to do. Okay, now this part. This is really hard. Like with the weird ass motion blur then. Uh, I use, I go up this pole here. What? No, what are you doing? Come on. I was born premature. There we go. And you can go up instead of having to grabbing the poles underneath. You can just go this way. It's way faster. And drop down. There you go. So use the zip line. And worked and worked. And here's the last door we have to open. I became a scorpion. Stomach. Oh. And now we watch another cutscene. Just practice. And you should be fine. Oh no! Oh God, Jay, what was I? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Sad music. Disappointing, Crane. Huh? You, you, you and you. Get in there and kill them. <laughs> Derp cat. <laughs> Here you go. Yay. Mm-hmm. Uh, indeed. Yeah, that was like a side effect thing from the uh, the um, seizure stuff. Well, motion board is full. Mm -hmm. 
the natural order of things, Clem. Kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. I did. Goodbye, Jade. Goodbye, Jade. Rip and Pepperinos. Okay, so there's a fight coming up against Tahir. This fight is easy. You'll see why. Before fail. No, but. Uh, right in front of you, there's a bag that you can loot, and that bag has a really good weapon. So you loot the bag, use the weapon, and you should kill him in about four hits. You Americans don't know when to quit, do you? Now I'm oh, where screw is you. Rise? You will never know, boy. Oh, he's blocking my attacks. Tell me where he's going. It oh, yeah. Thank you, Tiger. Cutscene, space to skip, and I just Draw dodge backwards. So we're going back all the way to the uh, entrance to the museum. Well, that route anyway. So I dodge backwards during this. We still have to wait for a dialogue, but I want to kill the guys before the dialogue is over. What happened? Rise. He forced us. Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died. Saving me. Excalibur's Rain, bad. You've still got to call off the ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself. So you could do this. So you could save the rest of us. How do we wait? Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message mm -hmm. through? Yes, but to do it, Should you get. need to meet me. I have to give mm -hmm. you an amplifier that Savvy mm -hmm. says can help us break through the signal jamming. <clears throat> I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, what you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy, on my way. So, get our stuff back, exit this place. Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizen. <laughs> Rice is bad for health. <laughs> Funny guy. Uh, okay, so what I do here, I remove the goddamn firecrackers and grenades. Because I don't have any use for them. Dr. Camden, it's Crane, do you copy? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples, and I'll bring them to you, but but first there's something else I need to do. <clears throat> okay, great, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. So, we need to get over to Doc, that tower. To time. I'll be in touch. To talk to Troy. I mean the level f level five agility helps, and we're gonna go up here, talk to Troy, hopefully without falling down. Thank you. Skip, 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 so. skip. See you, Troy. So that's the museum. Now, after you talk to Troy, I use this zip line over here because we're gonna go over to the next area for the big antenna that we need to boost. Internet is shit, that's why. Uh, my landlord opted not to install fiber in this house. So, my internet is shit, that's why. Repair my weapon. Can you repair it? Thank you. So, broadcasts. So there's a big out of bounds here that I'm not gonna do because it's actually slower. But basically, you can clip through the ceiling by hook shotting yourself up here. Flawless. Um, but there is one out of bounds you can use. 
in a run. So let me show you that one. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck it. Is that a kid? <clears throat> You would normally go through that ring. You can you can do this out of bounds here. Um, if you grab this metal sheet here, go up, left. No, I, okay, I'm in the wrong position. Go left again. No, okay, try again. It's a very specific position for this. No, okay, it's, there it is. You can pull yourself out of bounds. And from here you can like grapple this pipe here, you can grapple that platform here, and then you can grapple the concrete here, or tarmac or whatever, and then you can go down. You need to go down here because you need to hit this trigger here. So You can do that out of bounds, it's a bit tricky to get the right position though, so you don't have to do it. Is a cutscene. Okay. Now the game tells you to jump down. Well, we're going to do that, except we're going to jump down into the water. Good screw this. And we're gonna go this way. Hey, Sab, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. Okay, where so, do I get this card? You go this way, you completely the ignore the other area, or the first one. Would Let I me have show to you. The place? you mean the car On the map, it might be hard to see. Like, this is the second area. Like, you, you're supposed to go this way and search this place first. You can just completely ignore it. It's like, go down into the water, go this way, hook shot into I might not even be here? this no, no, container here. Right? Well, hopefully. Never mind. Into this container here. Shit, these fuckers again. Pick up that key card. Yes, fucking finally. And then go out. Got it. Savvy, I got the key card. Nice. Great. Now, go to the now we just need to go up to antenna. Inside the fence. Use the card to get inside. That huge antenna up there is where we're going. This part can be a bit trolly, so what happened to me pretty much. Go up here. Exploding one's fucking perfect. Use the key card, get inside. Sorry, in. okay, there you go. Okay. So what I do is I hookshot myself up here onto the lamp and then you just go to this building here and use the key card. Holy shit. Now we're gonna open this one. Left, you done. Okay, done. Get out of here without dying. I'm gonna kill this guy. He takes, he should take three hits with a katana. So, when you flip this switch, go up onto this lamp here on the side. And from this lamp. Well, Just if, get I, to the top. No sweat. if I don't fall down. From this lamp, you can bank it over there. Like so. So you don't have to wait for the elevator to snap and crash and fall down. Then you just go up this way. Ah, oh, shit, the cable snapped. Glitching and skipping is what's fun in the speedruns. Trust me. You've got to be fucking kidding me! So after you climb that and get over here, where the first like real climbing part starts um, you can get up on this and you can aim right here this is like one of the few spots you can actually use a grappling hook so you want to grapple this 
to make it up to this platform quickly. And from here, you can just grapple up wherever you want. I'll just go this way, like so. And from here, you have to climb. Yeah, yeah, got it. Climb, climb, climb. Climb some more. You can actually go between these, like so. Of course, you wait till I'm all the way up here. And cutscene. <laughs> Skip. Savvy, you there? The amplifier is installed. down, and we're done with this part. No, no, no! Here we go. Now we're gonna get into the tunnel and do like probably the biggest out of bounds in the game. Okay. So this tunnel. <gasps> there's a big out of bounds in this tunnel that you probably want to yeah. practice because it saves so much time. With this plan. Okay. So after you ent uh, after you exit this first corridor into this huge tunnel system, you just go straight ahead. Over here, there's a door. What you want to do is you want to go down here, turn, and crouch underneath this rubble. So now you're out of bounds. That's the first part. You just climb there, uh, duck underneath the rubble. And uh, what you want to do here is that you want to fall and grapple the rock on the other side. Like if you don't, if you fall and you don't grapple the rock, it's fine because there's water right there, so you can actually still grapple uh, from the water. So that's fine. But you want to grapple yourself onto the tunnel, like so. And now you just have to follow the tunnel. There's the lead out of all the tiles if you haven't seen it right there. And I'm gonna grapple onto the second tunnel. Now this part is pretty tricky. Uh, there's no collision here. Like the collision ends here. If you go if you follow the tunnel here, you will fall straight down into the tunnel, which we don't want. So what I do is, I pos you can stand on this bar here if you want and grapple like a pipe, but the easiest method of this is to stand around here. Let's see if I... Come on. There, okay. So you stand here and then you grapple that. It might be hard to see it. There's, it's like a fan rotating. And you grab that. It might be too low here. Yeah, it's too low. But you basically, you grab the top of that fan and he will pull himself out of bounds. Uh, doing the whole out of bounds will, uh, it will uh, save about a minute or so, I think 45 to 60 seconds ish. But even if you fail the last part, you can still go quickly because you have the trick to to uh, allow you to swim faster. So not gonna waste that much time. Uh, normally, you you can see that room by. Um, um, <laughs> By, there's a door with a window in it. So I got a message out to the world. You can't see it even if you don't got a bunch. 
Okay, so we're done with broadcast. Uh, we're gonna go over to Dr. Camden. This is Kyle. Dr. Crane. Can Camden. You hear me? So going to Dr. Camden, you want to go this way. I believe it's right here. So just go there as quickly as possible. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Affirmative. Expect well, if you don't like skips, glitches out of bounds, why are you watching a speedrun? Just saying. Makes no sense. Um, so yeah, what I do here is I normally go doesn't really matter like watch out for these bag piles of bags like you want to grab the other side so what I use like like leap leap of faith and I just grapple as soon as possible yes and we go over here and when you enter this place you need to kill these two rice bugs preferably in one swing You must be Crane. Yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. <clears throat> yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. So the next part is the clinic. It's where Camden is located. And uh, the clinic is pretty much completely broken. It'll run. You skip most of it. Most of the boring, annoying stuff you skip. And the two out of bounds on the clinic are like the easiest yeah, ones to do in a run. So, I mean, you can, if you want, you can just load up Dying Light and do the same out of bounds in like a minute. It was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. Me and I were it's really easy to, to do. The chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention the GRE paid us quite handsomely. By the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. Hey, Fenrir. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators mm -hmm. overheated and shut down. Hey, Cavalrox. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. So the first out of bounds is right at the start. Exit the elevator here. I, uh, hope you don't mind me reminiscing out Go into this corridor, this. turn left. Grab this lamp, go for it, and you're out of bounds. That's, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. Like, you grab the lamp, and he will pull himself out of bounds. And after you do this, you turn 180. Thanks, Fender. Uh, you turn 180, you go over here, drop down. I kill this guy because he's annoying. Uh, you grab the key card, you open the door, and you get out of here. Gotta kill some undeads here, or zombies, thingies. Now we need to listen to Camden talk for a bit, so... Demonstrate. All right, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a uh, man very similar to you. The operative okay. helped us was supposed to. So now when it switches, what I do is I go up to this door. It's actually locked. I go up to the door and I shoot like the zombies in here, and just make sure I, I clear it out. Us, but you can, uh, yes, oh well, that worked out. Zara and I both got stuck here. Oh, be extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part really? of the facility cool. as I nice. never had reason to go in there. I got separated from the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to work on finding a cure. Watch it. I'm opening the door. Okay, so this is the second out of bounds, and it's the same thing we just did. But it's this lamp here. Zara and the operative fell in with Brecken's crowd. I guess I 
Okay, after you do this, you have to get up on the ventilation here to actually trigger the next part. So I just go up here. There you go. And then I grapple by myself over this way. And this is pretty specific, but try and grapple like all the way up here. See that up on the corner here? And there it is. If you do it correctly, it will actually trigger that you found the storage. And after that, you just enter the second big room, uh, exit this window, and then go down here, and go inbounds to the generators this way. And you have to turn all these on, so one, two, and last one. And then you just grapple yourself up. Good job. Hopefully anyway. Okay. Now what I do here is I try and like there are a few special or special zombies here with like tanks on their back. I try and like hit them with my firearm and at the same time I want to bait I want to bait the demolisher in the, this corridor to charge me. Um so I can open the gate without getting hit. Even if Sarah had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the Oh, he still hit me. Nice, okay. Yeah, 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 calm down. After that, you open the gate, you go back here, click, and you wait. Cutscene here, turn right while it's still fading out, and you can actually start running. There you go, now we're just gonna get out of here. And that's all you have to do for the clinic. I met Camden, he was very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get there. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't surprise me. Pretty normal to do that saddle. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those DRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get So I'm getting at towards the end of the game now. I just need to figure out where things stand. You need to get on top of that tower uh, to contact the GRE. So let's do that. This is a pretty lengthy thing, so that sucks. There we go. Hey Troy, <laughs> give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. Get some agility points here. Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane, do you copy? Where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but it still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy. To okay, he's gonna talk for a while. What you want to do here is make sure you're going the right way. So, you're gonna go over to that tower. Um, so, I use this zip line here. Just have to wait for him to talk. Where are the dead force, by the way? Because so I tried finding a few, but I couldn't find any ones that saved time. You know so. what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Narando, you see. I have Can't you skip this by dying? That would be good. Oh, horrible. Oh, okay. They call it the keys cool. to the kingdom. 
Yeah, I had a different method for regaining stamina. But if there's a better one, then yeah. That would be nice. Crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Grin. Let us finish what we began. Yeah, so I can look at the death warps and that stuff after I'm done with the story. Just to complete it, I guess. Because I'm gonna highlight it, so that's why. Yeah, thanks for not attention yes. uh, anyway so we're gonna go back to this tower because you can actually fast travel between this tower and the one in the slums so that's what we're gonna do here you go to this tower this is where you went the first few times you go down to this guy who sells stuff and there's a bed and stuff and there's a poster on this wall that you use, use to fast travel back yeah, running stamina. That's what I want. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Sarah's research. Okay. Holy shit! So we're now back in the tower, and all we have to do now is get to his building. Hey Lutika, what's up? Okay, so when you enter this place, the game is going to tell you you're about to enter the last part of the game, and yes. There's only a fast travel system between the two towers in the slums and the old town. That's the only one. Uh, there are warps you can do, but that's about it. So, so we're gonna go, go, go. Two stories. Then we go left. And now you need to be careful here. Trust me. Um, there are triggers you need to hit, and if you go if you go too fast during this part, it will actually not spawn zombies, which won't allow you to progress. Okay, so I'm gonna take it somewhat slow here, because if you don't hit the triggers, you're gonna waste lots of time. I think I have to take it easy at the end here, so... Okay, let's go. Okay, we're fine. If this one spawns, then you're fine. One hit. I need to run. Run, run, run! You can take any route you want, really, but this is the one I take. Any banana foot? No, not this time. No, no banana foot. I'm sad. And my speed is went out perfectly. Okay, welcome to the arena. Quite an entrance. Perhaps you are some back dodging here. A king of mud. To this container. Here, 
And then grab the side here. And play it a bit safe. I'll go this way. And then we're gonna go up here. There we go. And enter the elevator. Wait. God damn it. <clears throat> okay, go left, just follow this path here. Avoiding these bad I mean you should have vaults, so you should be okay. Up the stairs. Skip this conversation with Kareem. This way. Goodbye, Kareem. And land on the crane. Almost dying. Wow, I was close. <laughs> wow. Kareem managed to warn you, did he not? I was right. Some might think it Okay, so we're gonna take a shortcut here. Uh, hello, Boomer. Bomber. Right, you better when you didn't you go over so here. Much. You grab this. You can actually go up to this platform, but you still have to go right here to trigger the next part. If you don't, you can't progress, so... Here comes the fun part, it's doing this. That was okay. If you... okay, it's... You want to kill that guy, because he is going to explode if he reaches you, and you're gonna die horribly. So what you want to do is just practice like your air strafing or air control to do that part quickly and then kill that guy before he explodes in your face. Now you just climb, climb and climb. Some speed here, there we go. Get up the crane. A crane on a crane. Okay. So you want to go a bit to the right here. Just to save some time. Grab that one. I missed it this way. If you go a bit more to the right, you're fine here. So. Get all the way up so you can sprint, like run on top of these. Where are you hiding, you fucker? I just follow this path here. Climb this. This part can be a bit tricky to do quickly, but just practice it. I might just die because of scrub. Or get a bad animation. Oh, or climb all the way up. Why not? Yeah, just practice. Oh, maybe I'll get the teleport now. Maybe. No, I didn't. Okay, I didn't need to check. There's a weird teleport here that I'm currently looking into, but I didn't hit the trigger, so it doesn't work. Ugh, that boost. Burning with the need for revenge. That trigger right there. Okay. Eaten alive by yeah, this is all. I, I need to look at it. So, but right here you can actually Such grab the outside for some reason, like so. <laughs> so you don't have to climb the normal path here. Just grab the outside of this and. Right here, you trigger the awesome QT boss fights. Yes! No, we don't have slide. You can get slide if you want. So, it works. Face to face again. 
I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disc? <laughs> Hundreds, thousands, perhaps billions. <clears throat> yes, QT boss fight. The what now? You are right about one thing, Craig. What's that? Suleiman, he's dead. He died with his brother in this city. You don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. This reminds me of what is what is that game called? Orders 1886. I heard that's a really good QT game. Yeah. Crane. You will suffer alongside me. Yeah, and there's one more QT and that's the end of the game. Order 86 is a good Do word. It. Good interactive Fuck movie. You asshole. You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one. You're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Gran. Prove you are a man. Just take your vengeance. Will you just shut the fuck up? Damn. Knockout. Way to take me to a hospital. RKO, indeed. I give you the honor of deciding your own fate. Hand me the disc, so that there is at least a chance that Haran might live, and I will make your death painless. Or resist and do this city along with you. You have until the count of five. One, two. All right, all right. Here. Gotta set up for the sequel. Now what do you want? Rise already told us he had that dead scientist data. All we're interested in is the cure. We're offering you a chance here. Get the rest of the research and come with us. And I can think of a lot of reasons to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry style bullshit. DLC! What? No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Crane? Hello, Crane, can you hear me? It's Camden. Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? Analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The 
the results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you. Good night, and good luck. Good luck. Yes. GD. Uh, yeah, so... That's that. Anyway, uh, I want to look at the new stuff you were talking about. Demon... Demonstrate. Yes, that is the end. Best end you So how long did that take? <laughs> Three fifth, 3 13, 30, wow, slower than my first one. Uh, zero, 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 yeah, one record indeed. Uh, you were talking about what? <laughs> GRE call on the roof, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So after you open the door and you're holding space, you just run forward and press space again. Grab the screen. Okay. I'll see you, Kava. I'm gonna look at some new stuff that was just found pretty much. Uh, packed with rice. Second GRE call. Yeah, didn't we try that? Reckon is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not rice is the one. So that's uh, grenades then. Yourself to rice. Um, that's the first one. That's the second one. My pay. Yeah, the second one demonstrate. That's one. Uh, that's actually one that I found, but I don't do it anymore because it didn't save time last time. But I can do it again, I guess. Um, and then it is uh, what was the TRE call on the roof. Look at that. Oh, I didn't kill me. No, of course not. I guess it's easier if you stand on that side right there. If I stand on that side, it should be easier to do. If I just go this way, whatever, it doesn't matter right now. If 
I stand like up here, like that one. Crane here. Report. Another job for rice. Rice. Yeah, it doesn't interrupt it, but it does teleport you. Where the hell did I go? Oh, so I went from here to here. Not bad. That's pretty good. Wait. But I'm going... That way? Yeah, the order is out. Yeah, crane out. Huh. Yeah, it's hook shot up here. Yeah, right there. <sighs> yeah, and the second one is the one I've already done that one, so I don't need to do that. Uh, but the tower uh, that's. Uh, Wait, which one is that? Oh god. Um Where's the GRE 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 Patrol da, da, da. that's the yeah, that's that death warp. Where is it? Sin... Nomadic. It must be that one then. No way. I'm playing on the lowest view distance. Uh, cinematic. Monotonous initiation. No, it's the one with the explosives. Where is it? Siblings, isn't it? Uh, yeah, here it is. Prime exposes end. This is Alfie. Wait, here it is. Here it is. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. Oh, I don't want my grenades out for this. No, wait, it's not this one. It's the one. Oh, it's the other one. Oh, wait. Uh, which one is that? It's the GRE call. And it's before, just before siblings, you know. <sighs> what is it called? There it is, that one. Oh, right. Oh, nice. Right by the door. <laughs> oh, shit. have to pull yourself up I guess. Yeah, okay, that sucks. No. Yeah, I just thought you could stop him from pulling himself up, but apparently not. I 
the distance is too great anyway. Okay. Go a bit left. And to go a bit left or I hit this. I hit this so I have to go a bit left to actually reach this part. Yeah the other death warp is when you exit what is it after you right after you exit the train yard the one that I found but didn't use. This one, let's see. Um, Do you have the answers in? This way. Rocket science. Yeah, I figured. I figured it was a big damn trigger up there. It would be easier if we could actually see the triggers. This one, uh, I only tested it once. There's work down there. <laughs> nah, it's just a matter of learning which way to move the. Oh, just go through the inventory in the right manner. That's what I used to do with the firecrackers. Oh my god, anyway, so um, yeah, that's all we have right now for any percent, so I'm going to do a new run when I come back. I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm going away tomorrow, and then on Monday I have some stuff I'm going to do, and yeah, but I plan to come back on Tuesday. So, hopefully I can do a run on Tuesday. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So, uh, all this check <laughs> escort missions and dead eye. Ugh, no thanks. I'll check if there's anyone live right now. Not many streaming right now. Is Matt here? No. MH maybe. <laughs> Anyone? Mm. 
Mm, not really, no. Not too bad. Um, let's just do. Let's raid this guy then. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow or Monday because I'm going away. But I should be back on Tuesday again. So uh, that's the plan anyway. So yes, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching, following, and all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully we can break the game even more. So the goal is to go sub two hours, which would be amazing. Uh, it would be really nice. Like going sub two hours is ridiculous, but it can it can work. Absolutely, I think so anyway. So yes, I'll see you guys uh, most likely on Tuesday. So have a nice weekend and all that, and uh, we'll kill more zombies when I come back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Take care.